with that button. Options. A uh, new game. From the beginning, ooh, extras and options. Uh, BGM should be fine, sound effects should be fine, voice should be fine, reticle should be fine, movement bob! Uh, it kind of annoyed me, but I'll keep it on, because, you know, I got used to it after a bit. <laughs> Execute is, uh, <laughs> default, that's fun. Alright. Interesting there's no, uh, language option, but... Extras, would it? No. From the beginning. Oh, there we go. Keep it English. Kind, kind. I had it all on kind last time. Hey. Is that me? Can that you sounds hear like me? waves. Uh, we're doing this because I felt like doing it. I wanted to start Are off Dungeon okay? Number 2. I was gonna... Uh, I had other stuff planned, but I'm just re... rejiggering the, uh, schedule a bit... for this. You seem pretty out of it. Yeah, I am. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same, too. Since we suddenly... got put in this weird situation. Alright. Hey, are you listening? I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Might need to move that. We'll see what happens in a minute. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. All right. Jimmy Neutron. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right, I... I... Starting PCS version 1.01. Tengan Rampa 2. Goodbye Despair. Game start. Great way to start it. That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. And when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. That's Hope's Peak. Hope's Peak Academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who loved to play baseball were long to join the major leagues. Kids who loved to play soccer were long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Speak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It's so funny that they say government-funded and makes it sound good, because the better schools are private and they're not funded by the government, at least here. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. And if I hope Speak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Oh, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else. 
The truth is, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I could put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough. And it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should I should introduce myself first. Yes, who are, am I? I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. Alright, Hajime. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. Oh god, you said that word. Now I have to address what's been going on. <laughs> no. That's why. To feel like a member of society. I, I do not care. <laughs> I can be proud of. I always uh, wanted to. Television static there. For that reason alone, alone, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I always. Always, 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 It turned into just me saying oi there. Trying to say always. Ways until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why, hope. I might have admired talent, individuality, but I have... Finally, forever try my best. Finally came true 3 plus D. Huh? What is this? That's a door. We're in Resident Evil. It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. What need? No. I should hurry. Okay. Huh? Huh, indeed. Who goes there? Uh, I do. Uh. Eh? Um, are you feeling alright? You look quite pale. He... I mean, that's just how he always looks. Um... Hey, could you be... You're also a freshman at this school, right? It's a very old word. I've never understood the term freshman. Uh, then... Who we'll use it here? All... See for yourself. We're all freshmen, too. These guys? Everyone? They're all very bizarre looking. Freshmen who were accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. The Ultimates? I assume. Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. It'd be odd for it to be one classroom, I guess, if there's not too many people. Students, that is. Gathered? Okay. Hmm. Time unknown. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Alright, beat fat Biakio. Yeah? Uh, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my very best to act cool, I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk into this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. We're in a computer. A simulation. We're in Minecraft. Um, excuse me. What? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so is there, like, an entrance exam? An entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hmm. Actually, we were just about to discuss the matter. Discuss. It's all clear now. Well, since you were the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. <laughs> eh? This is everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is a 16th student. Such ignorance. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm -hmm. And just what are we going to talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? 
First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Eh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realize it, you're in this classroom. Then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? It's sh it sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? So in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here and you don't know why. Hmm. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That, that happened to me too. But... Mm -hmm. Eh? That dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness? That's weird. Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? Huh? Hmm? So in other words... Meaning we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even even stranger. <laughs> I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? So what I mean is... I mean, it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What's that mean? Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? It's impossible! It's a, seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Huh? It won't open. I can't open it. Huh? Huh? Why? <laughs> A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. But that door wouldn't budge at all. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, what's going on? I don't know, but I think someone's gonna have to shit in the corner. Jeez! And even with all my might, I couldn't open it. I'd be absolutely... It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? Eh? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She's right, it's impossible. Because when I went through the door it opened, normally, it, it wasn't locked at all. Hmm. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside? What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous. This is... Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Hope Speak Academies? However... But according to Hope Speak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But... They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! Ah, you're wrong. This is not an entrance exam. What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! Hey, fat ass, why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? Then whose was it? Um... Then whose it is? Is it? Um, it's actually mine. <laughs> who's there? Where are you? Perhaps... It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! It's more like a podium than a desk. All right, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin! Oh god. He's become a magical girl with bunnies? Mahokuma. What is that? I'm calling him Mahokuma. Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right! I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal! Adorable. Magical miracle girl Usami! A.K.A. Usami! Alright, Usami. You sound like Lelouch's sister, Nanali. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher! I want to see if they are the same voice actor. Nice to meet you all! Nanali... Mm -hmm. English. The 
eggs. I actually don't know a name. What else has she done? Yep. Yep. She's a, she's just army. There we go. So yeah, that is uh, it's the same English voice actor as Nanali. That's why they sound similar. Uh, huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one that who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking Chihuahua? <laughs> eh? That's a Chihuahua. Everyone. <laughs> I can't not hear Nanali. Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am. A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Uh, hold on, let me process this first. Okie dokie. Um. um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance and talk before. <laughs> it's probably remote control or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Even if it's remote control, doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what I just said. Come on. It seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. What did school you say? trip? Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? <laughs> A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with the lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. <laughs> now let's depart for the fun school trip. Depart? We're on an island. my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What? How so, is this? Blue and white. No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy blatantly wrong. Um. Um. Huh? Whoa, 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 what? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Is this a camera that monitors up around? Emergency! Well, where are we? Why? Huh? Well, what's going on? Everyone! Everyone, please stay calm. <laughs> there is no reason to panic. See? Look around! Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um... Where, you ask? Well, obviously where. <laughs> out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. Out by the sea. Oh, I think we've got to pay Disney money now. <laughs> I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? You know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Something like this! But we were just at school, and now we are by the sea. This is impossible. No problem! Please do not worry. The school trip has just started, that's all. Hold on a sec! But, like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. Sh she's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope's Peak Academy. I see! Ah, Hope's Peak Academy. I see, I see. Don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope's Peak Academy then. In that case... Alrighty. Please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? Bastard! The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? J you just what are you scheming? Ooh. 
Make that it tells us up in the uh, top left corner what the song is as well. Well, what? what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there is no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? Yup, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from other people and danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? There's a lot of uninhabited islands. Very small, tiny ones are essentially just a rock out in the water. Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other. Oh, uh... What? Kill each other? Yes. Nuh-uh, no way. Bloody business, like causing violence or inflicting pain, is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Yeah. yeah, so scary. What are you thinking? Then, what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Ta-da! Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you all relax on this island, paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. What did you say? school trip. That's right! Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Truly this lovey dovey heart throbbing school trip. Yippee-ballet! Everyone's homework. What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then. Let the heart throbbing school trip begin! Sure thing, Nana Lee. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering, my mind ground to a halt. Oh yeah, opening, I think. I can't really read much of that. I'm gonna try and talk a bit over this list that I get in trouble. Chi oh, hang on, his name's Chi Hakuna Nami. Sonya, never mind. Akane Owari. Oh god, okay, I'm not gonna be able to read these with the. They're going too fast, and the way they've got them, where they've got their names, I can't read them. <laughs> we'll probably introduce the souls to everyone in a minute anyway. Ow. Welcome to Dangan Island. With Fat Yuka. It's definitely the same voice that Biakia had. And he looks just like him, except he's fat. Whether it's the same person, I don't know. A couple of these people remind me of characters from the first one, so who knows, maybe there's a tie into that. It seems to be a simulation. Who knows? Huge panic at the heart-throbbing school trip. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm not that far into this. He says, we've been going for a half an hour. Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. Way back to be to honest, you. I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Oh, everyone else left. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. Th there's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. It's just my skin colour. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean. Okay, we get it, it's white and blue. The sun's rays beaming down on me. The soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island? You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I'll explain the basic controls to you. Yep, left stick. Radical. Press the X button if it responds. You can examine that personal object. Shift your point of view with the right stick. Triangle shows me, yep, where everything I can mess with. Now then, please search this beast thoroughly and progress the story. Yep. Tree. 
I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree. But now's not the time for me to be, to be impressed by it. Monitor. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What's it, what is this being used for? Before I talk to this guy. Camera. Hmm? Is this a camera? A surveillance camera. Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. That's what monitored means. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. Crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what is going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Hey. So, how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. The ultimate lucky student. Ah, along with my introduction. I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. <sighs> well, even if I tell you in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. Like Domino. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I'm called, anyway. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Hope Speak Academy is the ultimate a lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery? Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? I don't know, ask Domino. How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine, I have mixed feelings about this too. Someone like me? I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope's Peak Academy. At first I declined, I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. Hope Speak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope Speak Academy. So for that, I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Ah, oh, sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Hmm, Nagito Komaeda, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person, either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Then let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words, and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Ah, oh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. <laughs> I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Yep. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Hey, did something just beep? What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right. A strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from the inside of my pocket. Well, what the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Well, why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh, right, you seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember. <laughs> 
but what is this? It's an e-handbook. What the? Where'd you come from? I'm sorry. Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I know how. Tiki, I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um. Anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. Th this device is that important? I shall explain. I've asked everyone to use their e handbooks to gather all of the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right! Um, on this island you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is. The main purpose of this school trip. Love, love! And she's gone. Hey! She's gone. A staff animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if this looks like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. You're probably right, but oh no, you never played Dark Souls. More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then, I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. Now, that's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps... Maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? So, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I'm sure we could just ask Usami about all that. I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So now he's decided to come with me. No, I guess it's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. Alright! Shall we get going then? But, is this really okay? I feel so relaxed in such a strange situation. Perhaps this is a tropical climate. Or is it that, what's her name, Usami's fault? What happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, sheesh. What kind of nightmare is that? I'm now going to use a handbook, check various information for the game. So, yep. School trip and the poor college documents everybody's information. Oh, I can also view the transcript. Yep, touchpad. Should play around with it yourself. Please be full time for everyone else. Yep, fix the page. So, before we do that, I'll open up a map. There's a report card regulations. Pet? I have on my own adorable e pet. Oh, look at that. It's, um. Tamagoshi. Rule 1. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peacefully, peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Rule 2. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hoop fragments. Rule 3. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's beautiful nature and mutual prosperity. Rule 4. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. Okay. Hey. Ah, about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this ebook handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Eh? You don't know? School is so popular, there are message boards. There are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then was I also. Hmm. hmm, I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake. I was accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help out too. So why don't we begin making your introductions? Okay, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone else on this island, then. 
Oh, I should apologize also, I forgot to tell you, if you look at the map, you can yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. First island. Travel on your arm can be done through the screen, you can move with the left stick, yep. Oh! That's good. Well, this for now, but you can have your variant pets. I dream of looking for Christmas and I'm super stoked, so this is easy to jump. Ooh! Oh! Oh, okay, it's different with how we move. Okay. Instead of a first person way, it's different. Archimay, it looks like if we cross this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? <laughs> that's what we're going to. F that's what. That's what we're going there to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? Central Island. Okay, movement's very different. Oh, okay. Chapel Walk Park. Looks like everyone's actually on the first island. Oh, okay. we're here, so. Whoa! Okay. Ah. So, this is a park. This is. A park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> huh, it feels so nice a laid-back attitude. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the key word. Okay. I have a level assigned to you. Yes, I noticed that. It's displayed in the top right corner of your screen. Level increase by performing your assumptions. Just walking, examining, and talking to others. Ah. When you level up, you'll become stronger than you were before. The number of schools you can equip also increases. Make sure your heart is still up often. Cool. It's a bronze statue of various animals. Plus, it's pretty huge. Amazing! Wow, what a grand statue! Yeah, it's grand, but isn't it also kind of creepy? What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. It sure is grand. This island symbol, huh? This guy. What do you want? Fat you. Fat you car. Bialco, Bialco fat. This, this guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Hey. Uh, it is Bialco. Ah, uh, Bialco. Have time for a small introduction? Hmm. Introduction? Come on, Hajime. Um, hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Byakuya Togami. It literally is just him. The ultimate affluent progeny. Yeah. I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. I can tell this guy is thumbing his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? Actually... That guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations, and his net worth is, well, enormous. How admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. Not a very good origin story. You there, Hajime, was it? Yeah. Tell me, why did Hope Speak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um thing is, I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. Hmm, how foolish. Um... Yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His build and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? Yeah, yeah, I got a frag. Check 
something for him. Damage is there. So my steps are currently 18. Yeah, okay, so if I do if I do it that way, it doesn't count towards my steps taken. Interesting. Okay. I guess I could understand that it would make it a lot faster. First island. Here we go. Nope. That's number five. Nope. Tamagotchi's hatched. Despair meter and uh yeah, no, I'm trying to get to the next group group meter. You can give presents. Uh clean. I don't need to. Chibimi. I guess that's its name. Oh, I did that by accident. I will. I'll try walking just because I wanna increase this uh creature. Ranch. Is that where we are? We're all secretly on Dr. Phil and that's why we're here. Usami Corral. There's, there's a rooster. This looks like a ranch. Though there aren't many animals around. Oh, you found it out. You again. Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I, I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about that toy she's holding? Hmm, hmm still I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a socket. <sighs> Sorry. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. You might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Is it going to be like a hybrid? Oh, no, okay. Whoa! If we milk it, does it give us eggs instead of milk? Harumph! A huge success! Ugh, oh, god, I just imagine, like, you know, full, like, egg yolk and egg whites that come out of its udders instead of milk. So either that or like, you know, whole eggs, but I don't know why, but I imagine the inside of eggs is gross up. But what was all that just now? A, a chicken changed into a cow. That's not it. No, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? Sami Corral. Huh, I guess it's a ranch. How can that rabbit own a ranch in the first place? That's your question? Well, I shouldn't think too hard about it anyway. Yeah. There's a toucan. A tropical bird? That's what it's called, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. It's a toucan. There's a cow. Based on appearances, it looks just like a regular run-of-the-mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? Magic. Right. <laughs> okay. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing a finger onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinato. Mm -hmm. I'm Hiyoko Sayanji. So it's some coffee. Ultimate traditional dance song. Hence the outfit. She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Hiyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. 
It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. <laughs> it's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Yeah! Not, not something good. Excuse me while I sip my coffee with a glare on my face. Hey, what exactly are you doing? Hmm, hmm I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ants, duh. Oh dear. Mr. Ant, of course. I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> if you squish their tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Hey, you! Wanna do it together? Uh, hell no! Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm, you wuss. This kid. Her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. I've leveled up! Uh, let's camera over the Wonder and two can and anything else. Nope, just this woman. Yo! Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Gotcha. And who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much are suck at remembering names. You and me both. I met so many interesting characters today. <laughs> I'm better at real life people's names. It's just in games or shows I'm bad with names. I'm Nagito Komeda. If you can, if you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Ultimate gymnast. Well. Akane is known as the ultimate Jesus, Jesus gymnast and an all-round super athlete. Coffee's gone. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. Now, when they say gymnast, they mean specifically. I don't think they mean specifically gymnastics. They probably just mean like all gym-related stuff. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place. So her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. No, it is gymnastics. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly. But if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. She seems too tall for a gymnast. Huh? Don't tell me you... Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. So I knew someone who liked did gymnastics and they were very small. And they get, I think they usually like keep you small, they squish you down. Because I think you won't, it, it's better for that. Hotel. Oh, interesting, I don't have to be right on the gate to enter here. Hotel Mirai. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps... The Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. I mean, we were told to live on this island. I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? Uh huh. Didn't want me to press triangle there. <laughs> okay, so we do have these first person bits. I'm glad. New. Okay, we can see where everyone's rooms are. Oh yeah, they've all got mailboxes with their little face. On. Not names, which is annoying, but I guess we're not meant to know their names yet. Where's my room? Ah, uh, down here. I believe this is us. Seems like a makeshift hotel. 
to the guest room. Okay, I think that's our room. Just judging from the little sprites there. And you are? Huh? Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. This guy is already in a crappy mood. Why, you? What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? Now, now. R relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce yourselves? Hey. See, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Hmm. <laughs> Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Good for you. Also, he's blushing. The ultimate Yakuza. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Um... Fuyuhiko was a high school student and heir to the Kuzu... Kuzuryu clan. Heir? The Kuzuryu clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. How admirable. Which means, he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to a Yakuza clan? And it's THE Kuzuryu clan, no less? Actually... By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close, I nearly lost all my fingers. Nagato, you're like my saviour or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating. Uh, guess not. Hey, bastard! If we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? I got a fragment! Yay! Butterfly. Aw, oh, I'm interacting with it. Fine, I'll talk to the girl. Hey! Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Ah, uh, yeah. You are a boy, right? Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know. At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. You're right. Hey, look, I'm all for female empowerment and all that, so uh, I don't think I should have to. If anything, uh, you should keep me safe. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiro Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Good for you. Ultimate Photographer. Actually... My hero is known as the Ultimate Photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The Ultimate Photographer, huh? Oh, there is a camera hanging from my neck. I kind of assumed that already. Aww. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Mm, decent. <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or, like, just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? Huh? You don't know? That's what that stuffed animal, Usami, was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, Come on! this joke of a school trip will be over, and we can all leave this island together. That that's all we have to do? We can go home? Is that true? Did she really mean that? Please. Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Hey. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, huh? right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. What's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along, it's to become friends! It doesn't make any sense. But... I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal, really. We're told we're on a school trip without any warning, then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Hey. Eh? You... Don't eh me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Uh, it's nice to meet you too. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Too bad. Sorry to disappoint you, but I... But I've already made a mental note to remember you as the always unreliable Hajime. Well, you're delightful. You better do your best. It's going to be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. Got it. 
talking to both of you. I better man up and do better. Got it? What did she expect? Hotel restaurant. Before we go up there. Aha! That's right, you haven't told me your name. Oh. My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai! Hmm. Um, hello, I'm Hachimaki Nata. Your voice is too soft! Hold it right there, your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise in the bottom of your stomach. I am Hachimaki Nata! Um, I am Hachimaki Nata. No, oh, you can be louder than that. Do it again. My name is Hajime Hinata. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Nekomaru Nidai. Don't forget it, even if you go to hell. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. You don't need to repeat your name so much, I won't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree to your terms. He sure is boisterous. It's not just his voice, his whole body seems loud. Is it the chain around his neck? Yep. Nekomaru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. I, I gathered that. The ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one. No. Nope. He's not just a team manager. After all, he's an ultimate. He's travelled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to national victory as well. Rumour has it he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager. But... <laughs> but with a build like his, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Some people are just born leaders. Right, before I head to anywhere inside, if I... Oh, tell me who I've... No, it shows me who's there. Uh, we got... What's this? Pups, who's with us, and then those three we've spoken to, so we only have to go inside where there's two people and there's two people in the restaurant. That's just a cottage from. Oh, cool, from here I can press. Oh, okay, that just takes me there. Got two people over there at the airport, and then two people there at the rocket punch market. How's my time? I got you going. Hotel lobby. Don't know why it has a lobby when we're, you know, all the rooms are outside. Ooh, reception. I'm glad. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand too. If this really was, if this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept. And it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the water's going on with this island? No, no, don't question it. It's an arcade machine. And a foosball table. This place even had, has an arcade machine. <laughs> Isn't it great? This sure is a grand hotel. It's like we're at an inn in the hot spring district or something. Oh, I can't look at the foosball table? Really? That's weird. Alright, let's talk to this girl. There's some girl playing an arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. Hajime, you haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on the game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Hey, Chiaki. <gasps> oh, sorry, I must have been a little too focused on my game. <laughs> a little? Are you sure about that? Mm. Let's see. Oh right, introductions, got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. This chick stealing my identity. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Ultimate gamer. I'm Hajime Hinata, nice to meet you too. Yep. Yeah. Totally. It seems like this conversation is going rather slow. <laughs> well, she is gaming right now. Well? 
It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head opposite of me. I'll just start talking before I know what I mean to say. So why sometimes I either ramble or trip over my words. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. I just picture the guy voiced by Napoleon Dynamite in Monster House. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how could she play video games at a time like this? Yawn. Hmm. Nope, that's the desk. This is the receptionist's desk, but there's nobody here. I meant to click on this girl. State your business. I'm here to say hello. Hi. Well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An introduction. Understood. Understood, I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you too. That is quite the name. Ultimate Sword. This dignified looking woman is known as the Ultimate Swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Pekoyama could be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a Kendo master, and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. <laughs> I would prefer not to kill anyone. Kill? Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone like this, a misaimed blow can be fatal. Yeah. I'm sure you could beat someone to death with bamboo. The stuff's hard. That's why she uses a scaffold. Well, well an aimed blow can be fatal too. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, hit someone with the neck with that, you could kill them. Head. Oh, I could have gone straight to the restroom from there. No matter. To the restaurante. Seventh Island. So, this is the hotel restaurant. Amazing! It's enormous, we could easily hold a banquet here. It kind of has this tropical open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck on this island? No, I know what he means by it. Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. Yeah, one of them is... El Chefe. He's bleeding from his nose. That's right, I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Poison. I see. Got me some poison, is he? Hey, do you guys have a moment? Huh? Whoa. Denied. Denied? Good day. Hello. It's n it is nice to meet you. Uh, hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Hello there. Alright, Obi-Wan. Why, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. I, I gathered that. But... Could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? I wasn't more thinking more ultimate chef. Big city flavor to it, you know? Ultimate cook. <laughs> I hope we get along well. I am sorry. Oh, that reminds me. I have not properly introduced myself either. I am terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia. Never mind. Ultimate Princess. <laughs> I am a foreign exchange student from the small from a small European kingdom called Novoselic. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. It's the same here, I hope we get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? No, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the Ultimate Princess, which means she's actually royalty. The Ultimate Princess. Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but... 
It's not just her beauty, she's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um... Um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Huh? What are you happy about? I... In my con home country, I did not have a single friend. My age whose standing in society matched my own. So to be able to do something like this with everyone in it is a new experience for me. I shall praise you. I shall extol your virtues. Extol my virtues? Thanks. What the... I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. <laughs> hey, you three. Am I being left off the menu or something? No, that's not me. <laughs> oh, Teru Teru. It's so like you to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully... Yeah, I like it. Well, though, I like the, it. though I like the big city flavour of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> you know, when most people say their hometown, usually not really big city is the idea behind it. Hey, are you Understand. refined, cultured, and guilty as charged? No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? Mm -hmm. If I can get serious real quick. I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pecco is actually a bit of a freak if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong, too. What are your thoughts on that? Now then, shall we discuss this somewhat, somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonya over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um... Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. I'd better not see you try that again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. There's always gonna be one in one of these sort of games. <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient of... <laughs> this guy seems dangerous, for a completely different reason. Ah yes, nothing seems... screams passion-like. <laughs> Someone who doesn't know. <laughs> Maybe uh, Seventh Island, what's that about? Oh, it just takes me back out here. Interesting. There's only five islands or six if you count the middle. Yeah. Hmm. Odd. It's up there, I can't look at it. Anyway. I'm guessing we can't enter this place yet. Hotel's old building. Oh, I've leveled up. Ah, no, 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 no. This old building is in the middle of a renovation project, so you cannot go inside. It's dangerous, you know. Showing up out of nowhere is even more dangerous. Finally. It's interesting they gave more reason to have to walk around instead of just jumping about with the map. Punch market. Surfboards. So this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. That's a big bottle of cola. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. No rules. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? Wow. It's just a figure of speech. Is that a mannequin selling night vision goggles? <laughs> well, advertising them at least. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? What? Hmm? You certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around, we're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else here except us. Hmm. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is uninhabited? Th that's exactly my point! Ugh. What happened? It's nothing. staring at me funny. Um, you know... Uh, I'm sorry. 
Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I didn't do anything! See? I didn't do anything. <laughs> ah, so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Well, of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... M my name is Mikan Sumiki. From the, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Ultimate Nurse. Um, you know... Um, 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 um. Uh, my mind is drawing a blank from nervousness. And I went through all the trouble preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll, ma we'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Uh. Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so... What's her deal? Ah, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something morbid so naturally. It's true, though. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. It's just, I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Ah, not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. I'll do anything you say, just please don't hate me. Man. Pulling a girl, not cool, hard to me. I didn't do anything! Seriously, why does this keep happening? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Murder mole. I guess this is where I can get my random crap. Looks like a vending machine, but doesn't seem to have some money. Do I use some type of coin? Yeah, murder coins. Uh, doesn't matter. There's anything else. Okay. I can look at this huge, gigantic cola. That's one big cola bottle. I bet it'd go flat before you could even finish drinking it. Probably, yes. See, 20 liters? Is that... Yeah, I think it says 20 liters. God! It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. I want to rephrase, uh, rephrase that a little bit. Hello. Oh, hi! Who are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello. Your attention is super low. Are you feeling alright? Oh. Ah, that's right. Introductions are a go-go. Ultimate musician. Yes. Hence the get up. Alright, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. They I got see. hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta, ooh, melons. No problem. Well, who's up to nose now? Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Yubari would shop here. Yahoo! Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoke for all this deliciousness. And when I'm excited, I get hungry mungry. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> yeah, a human body sure is a mystery. What's the spam on the self wall? Fake spam. Um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently their hit single, After School, Pour Your Yon Hour, sold over a million copies. A super popular all-girl high school brand. That sounds familiar. What? Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my! Spam. Spam's delicious. Are you interested? What? Wow, you could hear me? <laughs> Duh, Buki's a musician after all. Get like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh. Perez and Senna. I too am an awesome musician. Edison was not a musician, neither was Van Gogh. Bark was. I don't know who Schubert is. Or Perez. Or Senna. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. <laughs> I don't think Van Gogh had good hearing, he only had one ear. 
Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. They were definitely artists, and you could definitely make the argument that a musician like uh, Bach was an artist of sorts. Edison... No, I don't know if I'd call Edison an artist. Con artist, maybe. To the airport. Oh, Mr. Shane Meter showing me how close I am to a level up. Airport. Welcome to paradise. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... Airplanes? What else would they be? Can we use those planes to escape this island? Do you know how to fly a plane? Uh. Nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them. But also, these planes are just for show. Just for show? Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? Same person who's controlling that stuffed animal who saw me. But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right! Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. Good to meet you. Ultimate mechanic. Kazuichi Soda. That's expected from someone called the Ultimate Mechanic. Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't it seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah, it's pretty strange. But I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? What's an unacceptable level of strange? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh. That was mentioned in the safety precautions for this school trip. Remember the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? I already read them. You don't need to tell me about them, Pam. I already read them. I'm, I'm way ahead of you. Yep, extreme violence prohibited. Consider of each other. Yep, get hope fragments, mutual prosperity, and a teacher can't interfere. For now. So we're being kept safe. So why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? What's all this crap that Simon sent? I know it was, it was Chris. Is something dangerous on this island? Spend these peaceful, relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier. It seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? What? Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right! Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I mean, I just hear Nanali so already cute, because Nanali is adorable. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. I love Code Chaos, great series. To go so far as to remove the plane's engine, do they want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? We're not getting any coins, which is a strange thing. Fiend. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Huh. <laughs> I said stay back. No, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as, well, as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Today was the most important. The day you met um, M. Bison was the most important day of your life. For me, it was Tuesday. That's what he makes me think of. Ultimate Breeder? What? Oh, okay, I didn't... Uh, where did that come from? He's got a Batoria ring. R rule this world. He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. 
Goose Master are you? Yeah. You! Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me. Huh? What do you mean, pact? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! I love this guy. Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then specify don't answer. Perhaps? I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. I've got one right now, he's right next to me. Aren't you nugget? He is fast asleep. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible! So, a mere insect? It's a mollusk. Your huh. powerlessness. Your magic essence caps that are only five. Trash. Trash, really? Kneel. Hmm. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. My name is Gundam Tanaka. Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. Those are, those are hamsters. Hold on a minute, something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of ultimate freedom. <laughs> One of my four dark divas of destruction, Mirage, Golden Hawk, Jump, huh, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> He's got um heterochromia. That's two different colored eyes. Um, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. What kind of school has a breeding club? For animal breeding, it's a bit odd. I've heard he can tame any animal and even managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Oh, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals. Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I can speak to my cat. He's hungry. That's most of what a cat says. Is I'm hungry. I mean, there's no way an old person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. No! Also, that one hamster on his uh, left shoulder is fat. Oh, have we met everybody? Was that a school bell just now? Huh? Hajime, look at that monitor over there. Congratulations, everyone! Thank you, Nanali. It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragment. Oh, that was easy. I'm... I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. What? Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried. But it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. To the beach! You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly dying for? I don't know how, we're right next to it. Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, it's alright. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> yeah, let's talk. Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. Now that you I happen to notice numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Oh! Oh, those are there so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them, and that rabbit showed up and told me so. I told me, so I'm telling the truth. What? So we don't get lost? Is this island really so big? <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there's a big ranch. Um, there's also a large supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Hmm. The hotel was really nice too. It'd be great if we can stay there. 
The restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to a more plebeian taste. Hey. Can you guys listen to what I want to say too? I found something very important on this island. I can't stop girls. Very, very cute girls. Haha. <laughs> All over the place. Gross. I'm getting goosebumps. All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one here realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. <gasps> See, he has changed. What did you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and shit. Such ignorance. Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. The most serious truth. What does he mean? Uh. Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did, did you find out something about this island? Have you all gone to the path that's across the bridge? Yes. I was there, that's why I met you. Bark with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remember a story I'd heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Yeah. Listen. That island's name is. Jabberwock Island. Could it be? Could this island be Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Very strange. Still, there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already. Hmm. Never mind. Hold on! Hold it right there. That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Meh. I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island or whatever. It doesn't change the fact that we've all got that we all gotta live here, right? <laughs> Living together on this tropical island sure is exciting. I'm super looking forward to it. Right on, this ain't a bad school at all. Yeah, hey, you guys. I like it. Hmm, I like this island too. <laughs> Can't say the same about the rest of you cretins. Huh, did I hear something? Hmm. I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope's Peak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> there's no ship, and the planes are just for sure. It appears. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? It's impossible. There's no way we can swim that far. Show some spirit. What? Are you stupid? I'm telling you, that's impossible. And then what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? Even just swimming across the channel in England from England to France is extremely difficult. People can do it, but it's really difficult. I won't let you. Nuh uh, you can't do that. That's the biggest of no no's. So when we get an axe, please recall the guidelines of this school trip. Littering is not allowed, but it coexists with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. But what's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so called rules. Hang on a second, I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. Sorry, I got back, and then my cat wanted something. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? The word danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. No, not always harmless. Hajime. Though she did launch the flare. Hajime, I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now. As long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there is no danger. Yep. As long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just going to believe that? <laughs> There's no other choice but to believe. For now, that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, Sami, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Whoa! Ah, that's right. Well, of course I didn't forget. Love, love. love, love. This is it. Don't be upset. I prepared one for for you all, so don't worry. What is this? <laughs> It's a new Sami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami. Magical miracle girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. Uh, isn't cute, love love. What a waste of time. Aww. Man, and I got my hopes up too. I'm a shave. I even had my hopes up. I'm sure someone likes it. So? Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. That well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a large number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everybody received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach, but that's glittering. Hey, you can't na taint nature with trap. You can't. Can't nate nature. You can't taint nature with trash. See? Even you think they're trash. Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. Oh, don't be mean to the big buddy. Oh, and I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Hmm, you have something else? Um... Well, compared to your Usami, Usami strap is not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. A motive. Hey! That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. You come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island themed. <laughs> like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? Are you gonna start smashing watermelons? <laughs> Correct! Wow. Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> My wounds are still full of poison. I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. I'm really hoping Wait. she didn't before. <laughs> Knock it off, Terry Terry. Right. Oh, your tenderloins? You betcha. <laughs> Just ignore him, Sonia. Tenderloin's a cut of meat. If we're talking about fun parties on Tropical Island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something. Uh. Ah, a campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill! Let's find him. 
Dude, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what are you? Let's kill! Let's find a hoop snake and kill it. You serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're going to be at the ocean, then first... Ta-da! This is what it's all about. We can go swimming. This is... A swimming bag. Love, love. Correct, love, love. Whoa! Whoa, then that means... That's right, I have swimsuits for everyone. Well, school swimsuits, actually. I hope that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming? In a situation like this? Yes. I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. Just, if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. I don't know any way would anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Someone's excited. Eh? That's right. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If weather this nice, there's no way I'm going to pass on swimming. I agree. You have ulterior motives, Terry Terry. Even my loins agree. See, is he just standing there with like you know a hug? And he's trying to have everyone like notice it. Your tenderloins? I understand. Wait! Seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey! It is, uh, that on a cow anyway. I know it's a cut of meat, meat, but I don't know where. How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? Because this was so long. Alright, let's go change. Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from inside and ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey. What are you going to do, Hachi Hajime? Guess I'll join everyone else. I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After we said that, Naruto ran over to our hotel as well. There is no danger on this island. There is nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? There are no monsters at the end of this book. If so, am I actually wrong? Oh, okay. So, the <laughs> ones you stay behind, Fant Biakia, the girl who wants to kill Yakuza fella, and, uh, the one that reminds me of Chihiro. You're not going to swim, Biakia? Not possible. Of course not. That's enough. However, don't, that, don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons couldn't be more different. Different reasons? <laughs> you cannot accept our situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? A coward? What? That Usami thing is not lying to us. You're starting to realize that, aren't you? Th then why aren't you going to swim? <laughs> I simply don't like ocean water. It's too salty. That's not something to boast about. Little kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim. Do they? Don't talk to me. Swimming blows. Talking to you is even more annoying. Mind your own business. Man, he's so blunt. You're not going to swim? Mm, I'm like really, really sleepy right now. I see. It'd be a problem if you, saw, if you fell asleep while you were swimming. I'd probably drown. Well, like, definitely drown. But to be sleeping in a situation like this, she's sure got some bold nerves. <laughs> ah, speaking of which, everyone has returned. Oh, okay, I thought I'd get to talk to everyone. As you saw me said that, I turned around and... I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Good for them. Yahoo! Yay! The sea! Uh, the water is so cool! It feels great! Oh, uh, too salty! This water's too salty! It's not going easy on me! Uh, it's it's hey, ocean water. I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? It, it, what, he sounds familiar. Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? <laughs> Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. All right, well, I guess he, d he doesn't you discriminate. You're too open, like you're covering too many bases by yourself. What range of this? <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you. Uh, why do some of them have just of essentially uh, speedos, and then one of them's got like? What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? Hang on, what was that he said? Oh, okay. It feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun, I, I, 
<laughs> yep, yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. Let's keep up the pace and all do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then, I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it! Huh? Hajime, did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for You're me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Hmm? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Hmm? Eh? Huh? Hey, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. <gasps> what is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way something like this shouldn't... There's no way something like this shouldn't be happening. And at that exact moment... Just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly appeared... happened. Sorry, I was about to say appeared. <gasps> uh, uh, mic check! He's mic back! Check. Uh, 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 can you hear me? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> this is what it makes me think of. <laughs> that voice was so laid back, and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> Surprise? You were totally surprised! Right? I expected to be back, Minokuma. Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. Right, we need to get to the actual entertainment. It's time for the main attraction! You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park! Hmm. Could it be? This voice. If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. <laughs> hey, wait! Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Mm. It's best if we go to Chapelwalk Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! Hey, wait! But, but what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. Shit, just what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed off if... Uh, I mean, it is meant to be if, not if, off. I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid. What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Jabba Park, right? She's still here. Aww. Boo, it's just too many Mr. Krabs. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Bye. Money, money, money. Fine, I'll just step on them later. You crabs better one while you still can. Money, money. To Jabberwock Park. Jabberwock! Just took me right there. As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, Usami's shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Hey, hey! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> I guess everyone is here. I guess they did get changed. Monokuma! Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! He's everybody's best Long friend. Time. I am Monokuma! I'm the headmaster of this academy! Monokuma appears! Ahem. Now that I have made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... Lame! This is so friggin' lame. Lame. I say lamer than the lamest lame sauce. 
a wait, lame sauce. Is that tasty? Just as I thought, it was you. But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence. Oh, shut up. Hey. I'm livid, you know, and I'm about ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Just what's with this heart-throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored, so hopelessly bored. This just ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now. What are you thinking? You've got to make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is <laughs> other people's misery and despair. <laughs> what the hell is with this stuff, Anna? Nothing you say makes any damn sense. What? What is going? What? What is going on? What is that thing? Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic stick... Yeah. Ah! Opening! Yeah. Yeah. What's the stuff flying about? Oh, my magic stick! Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? I don't know, I think she got a few hits in there. I wouldn't call it flawless. What about you? What do you say, Shao Kahn? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. Uh, she's more pink than white. So, I'm gonna make you in my image! <laughs> This is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya, I'll bite ya, I'll rip you apart! <laughs> Stop it! Hey, hold still! This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? Uh, where are you putting that stick, Manokuma? No! That's a no-no! That's a big no-no! Hmm, -no. right. Ta -da! Ah! Oh, She's half so white, half pink now. I'm not supposed to look weird like this. Change me back to normal. Well, no, no, the white, the white half and pink half is now. What's yeah. this? My, my, defying your big brother's fashion sense? Is Monomi a little troublemaker? Hey. Big brother? Monomi? My little sister! Your, cur your current position is too wishy washy, so I'm setting you to be my little sister, Monomi. <laughs> Though it's only an external setting, after all. Hey. Why do I have to be your little sister? Wah -wah. Big sister, then? You want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? I don't like this. Mm, that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. Call me Big Brother. Uh, so that's how it's going to be, Monomi. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. Uh, how? Even the display changed to Monomi. Oh, so it did. I won't forgive you. Hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. Monokuma punch! Stupid fool! Do you think you can win against me? No! It hurts a lot when you punch me! Yeah, it's a punch. <laughs> How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. But what is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other? That's like completely insane. <laughs> uh, if only I still had the magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. It's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even one, even a one-second opening is life-threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey. Hey, what's this stupid? What's with this stupid performance? Huh? You friggin' knows. Mm. But it's obvious something bad is happening. Huh? What? What is this? What's going on? Uh. Huh? Huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking. She matches me now, you know. How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? You only just realized Monokuma's here? What did you say? Well, what does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? Bear it! I'm not a tanuki, I'm a bear. I'm Monokuma. What's going on? Hey, he doesn't have gigantic nuts. I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared? I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? 
Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Mona Kuma, the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. This is Mona Kuma? Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway... Regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> From this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Killing a school trip? A school trip where everyone gets along has no simu stimulation at all. And it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey, hey. You guys agree with me, right? Thank you for waiting. So, let's begin our killing school trip. Do your thing. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. You're kidding, right? Killing contestants? I won't forgive you. <sighs> what are you saying? I will absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. Mono kick! Oh, it hurts a lot when you kick me too! Leave Mono me alone. Monomy is such a dumb child. Jeez, your brain sure is tiny, Monomy. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. Except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. Uh, Allow me to explain. Now then, we got off topic for a while, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> what do you mean, killing school trip? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? You guys are going to kill each other. Well... Killing each other, I see. You <laughs> kill each other? No way, no way, no way! What are you saying? That's impossible. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules. If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> class trial? That's right! That's right, the class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip. Allow me to explain! If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your argument ab arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words... Which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you are found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating that word, punish, over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. That is... A execution? that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the so killing school trip. <laughs> <It's a cultured laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some That's why I chose this game, because it's one way I'm reading all the dialogue. Like impaling you through the head with a thingamajig claw. What's a thingamajig claw? Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning, to shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet, a theme park of murder. That's awesomely poptastic! That's what this killing school trip is all about. Well, there's a limit. Well, at least last time there was a limit. They could only take out two. I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. So don't fuck with me. That's right. That's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No way! I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no! Be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I 
won't believe. I won't I, believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? But what if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway... I'd like for you all to go through with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? But wait just a minute. Why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Yeah. Hold on! Hold on. You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea! I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it! What? A fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it. With force, if necessary. Why you? If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. Ah, uh, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. If you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey. Force? What are you going to do? Surge, O oh gods who dwell between light and darkness. In accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Come forth, mana beasts! Robots! I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Huh? What Why is this? did the statue move? Wrong. That's no statue, they're mono beasts. Ah! M -m 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 monster hey! No, I just said they're mono beasts. The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games. And that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of this situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No. This can't be. This is just too weird. Don't tell me. Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> a nightmare, he says. He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. Unbelievable. Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid, ignorant cavemen are better than you all. Classifying like events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone. Please stay back. I will protect everyone. I can't lose. Even at the cost of my own life. I will protect everyone. Huh? What's this? Ugh. Ah, I know. This is nausea. Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Alrighty then. It's punishment time! It's decided. You'll be my example to everyone. Daka. Well, that could have been dangerous. What would have happened if he accidentally killed one of the students? It would have been a violation of his regulations. Huh? What? 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 What is that? It's got a gun. <laughs> It's only the first stage, and Monomi is already dead? What? Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? <laughs> we do have Hotel Future here, after all. Mono Beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction. The sudden appearance of a monster. Even though, it's a life even though a life threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize that it was a monster. It would just vastly out of our relevant. We had never experienced anything like this before, and had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <laughs> That's right, this is what I wanted. 
This feeling of despair, giving an example, was totally the right call. <laughs> that is funny. Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless. No different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now. Now then, I believe I've made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. What's a planning trip? If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me! Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all! An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere, won't work on me at all! Okay. Hmm. Also, in addition to the Killing School Trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. There, the rules for the Killing School Trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then, enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his Mono Beast vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... <clears throat> well, what just happened? Um... Um... I won't believe. I, I, I just won't believe. won't believe it. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we're up against a human or even an animal. What the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. No, it's not really... It's not really impossible. Those Mono Beasts, or whatever they're called, are machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Hey, who is it? Who? Ah, uh, ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines, or even of whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Each Ourselves. other. Ourselves. Yes. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers, in order to kill yeah, each other strangers, to escape. Classmates. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but... Even I'm no different, so can I be truly confident that something like that isn't going to happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Ooh. And I guess after two hours we get our uh, opening. The definition of the word youth there? Mm -mm -mm. Goodbye to spare. We're on a beach. Hajime Hinata.
Chiaki Nanami. Sonia, never mind. Akane Owari. Hyoko Sayonji. Gun Gundam Tanaka. Kazuichi Sora. Mahiro Koizumi. Terutero Hanamura. Nagito Komaida. Nekomaru Nidai. Ibuki, oh, okay, that went by too fast. Ibuki, Peko, Peko Yomon, something like that, I think it was. Mikan Sumiki, Fuyuhiko Kuzu, Yakuya Togami. He's easy to remember. Same as before. Welcome to Dangan Island, Panic at the heart throbbing School Trip. End. Surviving students? 16. Nice that we didn't have one die like the beginning of the first game. Which I know was all part of the whole story, but... Yeah. Oh, we don't have the One Piece font this time. Obtain present! A photo broken wand. Yes. Depending how long it gets takes to get to uh, the killing, whatever aspect. Uh, if it doesn't take very long till we get up to when the murder happens, we'll keep going. Otherwise, we might end when we get to that similar to what we did one other time. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If blackened is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. As a reward, the surviving Blacken will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. The body of discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. That's different. I thought it was... No, was it always three or was it two or more? It was always three. Destroying any property on its own without permission expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. Free to investigate the island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Additional school trip moves may be added as the headmaster's discretion. Doesn't seem to be there's one for not being allowed out. Oh yeah, it is very happy, ain't it? <laughs> We've just gotten to uh, the end of the prologue on chapter one. As I raised my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. They look like Dinobots from uh, Transformers. No matter how much I didn't want to believe in it, believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School. Studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. I'm surprised he was doing job hunting in high school. Certain high schools in Japan don't allow their students to have part-time work. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I'd grown accustomed to, I saw, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into the night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The students who murder the student who murders their classmate will be able to leave this island. Are we planning to kill? When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually everyone scattered and vanished. And I went straight to the first night. A night so beautiful, it enchanted me. Uh, if, if we're from the city, then yeah, we're probably used to so much sky pollution, we can't, or light pollution, we can't see the stars. Being on an island like this, yeah. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. It's the same if you go out to the country. It's lack of light pollution. The sky the stars are all more visible. Destination despair, daily life. I 
I miss Ahem. Nautilus. Hope Speak Academy I, School I, I, Trip I, I, Executive I, I, Committee I, 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 has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Aren't you nice? Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. <laughs> bye bye. Yes, if there's a woman that tries to become friendly with us, we can't trust her. We learned that last time. Damn, that's ominous. A cottage, huh? Yep. Yeah. I'm pretty sure ours is just here. These are very nice looking. Oh god, movement in first person is still not the greatest. Hajime Hinata. Ooh, there's a little shrine. I think. I think that's a shrine. Damn it! As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed onto the bed. What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. Very different from Makoto. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realize there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. Ah! Oh, I'm not gonna scream because it'll hurt my throat and be too loud. A scream erupted from my mouth. Ah! Oh. It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Ah. Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? Ah. I began to lose my voice, and it faded entirely not long after. Yeah, I know, that wouldn't be fun. I'm loving this island. It's great. It's nice. We've got a nice little cottage. It's a cool supermarket. And a restaurant. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. Oh, that'd be even greater. You've just got the sound of waves while you're sleeping. Nice relaxing noise. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears. This is no longer the world you know. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? We're here to make friends. Didn't you listen to Usami? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if by chance I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With those meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. This is not passing out constantly like Kodo. Ahem. To those of you who purchased Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, thank you very much. You're welcome, Roger Kuma. To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair from a friend, you always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started, so I'll give the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It generally deserves to be called a true game. So make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart-throbbing action of you to your heart's content. Now then, until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest! I will! Morning! Let's see what his new morning announcements are. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement! But you have a really lengthy title you've given so yourself, Monokuma. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Hmm. 
So, it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now I should go outside. No, no, no! You're not allowed to go out, why not? But Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey now, don't be so worried, I'm here for fun reasons. Oh god. Fun reasons? Hey! I um... want you to find my stuffed animals. Is that what goes on that little shelf? Mm. I got on my head of I got ahead of myself on too many. But I thought it'd be a waste to just, just throw them away, so I've hidden them all over the island. They're scattered all, all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do something like that? Because I said so. You can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you out until you find it. Well. Good luck! Damn it, that selfish stuffed animal. Window. As soon as I got a windows, they probably wanted it to feel tropical and open. It's nice that not everything's closed up. Well, this isn't really the time to be grateful for that. I don't know, you weren't at Hope's Peak, you didn't see what it was like with all the metal sheeting everywhere. What is this? It looks like a shelf. I feel like I shouldn't put anything here. That's probably where those dolls we find will go. Shower room. There's a room for showering beyond this point. It's pretty large and it looks easy to use, but I've never really felt comfortable showering. What? Well, it's this kind of situation after all. How don't you feel comfortable showering? This bed is pretty comfortable. Ah, found it. I think. No? Oh! Oh, okay. Huh? I've been found. Obtained hidden Monokuma. Hey, I got money. Well, done. Good job. I've also left you some Mono coins. I'm so generous. Isn't that wonderful? These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and the Rocket Punch Market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too, so do your best and look for them. It's <laughs> probably a trophy for finding them all. If you find them all, surprise, surprise! I'll try to find them. Well, what? Never mind, I should just go. Okay, so they're not... I, I wasn't sure if I just had to interact with things to find them. But I don't. And they don't appear to show up when I use my little search ability. Okay, Kazuichi, right off the mouth of the gate, you're screaming. Wah. Oh, it's just you don't scare me like that. I could say the same for you. But by the way, did you see them? Damn it! Oh man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh, the bridge. You know, remember that bridge at the central island? Did something happen to it? Uh, no shit! Why the hell would I be here? This is bad. Those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters, they're mono beasts. Uh, oh my god, it's here! So the cool. mono beasts are the guardians of Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other islands. How do we go to them? Are we going to swim to them? If those monsters are as gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get close to them. Ah, they're probably harmless. Ah, so annoying. I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip. Your face is getting weird. I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. I'm gonna get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacationing here now. Hey, what's with all the noise? Ah! ah another m m m monster <laughs> And I came all the way to here to get you both. But if you're gonna call me a monster, I didn't call you anything! Eh? You're here to get us? Well, obviously. I'll sort of come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant? Damn it! Oh, whatever man, I don't care. I don't care at all. <gasps> I'm out of here! Hey, where are you going? That's what I tried to say, but Kazuichi sprinted away like lightning. Guess I'll head over to the restaurant. Now, why is my letterbox flashing that way? Do all of this flash? No. Maybe it's just so that I know that's mine because it's all the first day? So I don't get lost with which, with which one's my cottage? Wait 
Right, well, time I got she's all right. Which is the restaurant. Oh, there's food. <laughs> You're late, Hajime. And where is Kazuichi? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Huh, where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... What? Running? But where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run anyway. What a weirdo, says the woman who was excited to kill. However... However, after what we witnessed yesterday, his behaviour is understandable. Huh? Yeah, what do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? Are you in denial? I don't remember anything happening, and even if I did, it'll totally fake anyway. Understand. Yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. Hey. So, why have you gathered us here? Hm. Not yet. Not until Kazuichi arrives. Ah, wait a sec. That means the reason you told us to come here is... Finding! We. Apparently, Monsieur Byakuya has something to tell us. Really? What? I'm gonna do it! Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible! There's no way we can fight that thing. I mean, it has heavy weapons and everything. Show some spirit! Anything is possible with a fighting spirit. Let me tell you this. And enough darker. A bold boast. However, let me give you some advice. The truly strong do not raise their voices so recklessly. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, let's start talking already. <laughs> hmm, this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. Jeez! Ah, oh, jeez, fine. I'll just bring Kazuichi myself, then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. Mm-hmm. Oh, goddammit. I'm already gonna hate this guy. Mm-hmm. I'm a little jealous now, getting tied up by Miss Mahiru. <laughs> Maybe I should run, run away, too. Just kidding. <laughs> Disgusting moron. I'm agreeing with Fuyuhiko on that. That's fine. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food come from anyway? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. <laughs> ah, they even have crab and shrimp. That's a weird thing to eat for breakfast. Aww. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mikan's ugly stuttering face. <laughs> my, my ugly stuttering face? Whoa. That's it. That's the face right there. Why? Why are you being so mean? <laughs> You're the kind of girl that always just love to torment, aren't you? Honestly. You should stop now. Oh! Ah, I got it. Teru Teru prepared this food, right? Hmm, <laughs> unfortunately it wasn't me. You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. <laughs> it's bad. It tastes yummy to me. No, 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 no. Just no, no, no. yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make. A dish that tastes yummy would still be considered shit. Nonsense! In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food. How rude. Hey, don't take it so personally. Understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What? What does that mean? Well done. But let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. Are you the... Is this turning into food wars? There's no mistaking it. In fact, your panties would drop too. Like the black thong Miss Pika was wearing, for example. I don't know where you've got the idea that. What did you say? You creep, how do you know about that? Oh. He guessed correctly. However. How. Does he have X ray vision? However, if Teru Teru did not prepare this food, then the one who did is. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan of Teru Teru, just for his perverted nature, but that's like most games. They're always my they're always my least favorite character, but they're all, they are it's weird. They're fun to have around because it gives you a character to hate outright, but they are also usually a absolutely terrible person. Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison to make sure it's safe for consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. You are a boy, right? Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Who, me? Oh, man. Oh, him. 
Stop, don't pull. You're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Careful. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. I just want to go home already. Okay. What was that? What the? Uh. What the fuck? What? Oh no 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 no! Yeah, how did you do that? Can you even call that tripping? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering the same as Bianca. Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. <laughs> I need to put him in the cage. I'm so embarrassed. Please help me. Uh -huh. She looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. It's which so moe. I'm practically snoring with joy. I'm trying to remember which one you think he is. We should help her up. Are you okay? Which one's a bookie? Oh, that's cool. You can see, like, what level you're at with, uh, with everybody. Ah, oh, Buki's the, uh, the singer, that's right. Okay. My head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond just a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um. Anyway, everybody's here now, right? Then let's get going. Mm. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Though I am not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. Why did he get so fat? So, it's finally starting. That took way too long. How the devil did she- I'm sorry, how on earth did you get tangled up in- Cabling? Mika, are you okay? You said your head was throbbing. Yeah, I'm alright. It actually happens a lot. But thank you very much for worrying about me. <laughs> I'll talk to everyone quickly. Yup, yup. Hey, hey! Can I listen while I eat? That's enough. No. Lies. But I got all this food on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is he scoffing about? <laughs> Such a cluttered, vulgar way of piling food. There's no semblance of theme or principle in this plate. You honestly think but most importantly, a large pile of food? Oh, that's what you say. You? <laughs> what did you say? Let me say this. Do not even think about copying what I do. This much food is beyond you, lowly peasants. I am the only one who could possibly eat this much food, for I have overcome the hardships of the past. The hardships of the past? This confident attitude, it doesn't suit him at all, to talk about stuff like hardships. Try saying that again. Hey, I can't just ignore something like that. Hey. I can't, eh? You shouldn't. If you attempt an eating competition, you'll ruin that perfect figure of yours. What? Why you? Do you have any idea how much money I spent sculpting my physique? Are you telling me I need to lose weight? What are these guys even fighting about? Honestly, Arcane is being a gymnast probably does enough where she'd burn off whatever she ate. Hey. I hope Mikan is going to be okay. Even if she's a nurse, it'll still be difficult for her to treat her own wounds. She just tripped! It's not like she broke a bone. Oh god, what's he gonna say? Hmm, <laughs> seems like my guess was correct. So Miss Pico was wearing a black thong. At this rate, I should make my move with Miss Sonia too. <sighs> we seriously need to keep an eye on him. Don't worry, I've got the cage ready for him. I think he might have been the one Dark was warning me about. This is the Tanaka Empire! Love this guy. For my four Dark Divas of Destruction, it's snack time! Hmm. Feast upon your meal. Okay, cool. I've leveled up. I don't know what leveling up does. Oh wait, no, it gives me more skill points. It's hard for me to move around with normal undergarments. That's the only reason. I don't care your reason. Good nom nom nomming. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I slept so much. I was worried about what's going to happen from now on, so I couldn't fall asleep at all. She should probably sound more worried. I'm afraid what she's going to say. Probably hey, want to kill hey. something again. She literally tripped over nothing. Seriously, that sort of thing should only ever happen in manga. Hmm. 
I do like Gundam. His his whole personality is quite quite a joy. And technically, uh, she tripped over um like cables. Mikan did, and <laughs> tripping over like that. What did she do on purpose? If so, that's super annoying. Yeah, something she tripped over it did make me think of two lovely because that's a whole thing about someone oh. tripping over constantly in compromising ways. Chicken meat. Make sure you consume as much chicken meat as you possibly can. What are you talking about? <laughs> if you want muscles, then you must consume chicken. Chicken is low in calories and high in protein. I thought beef was the best thing if you want to bulk up. Uh, now's not a good time. Hmm, I see. No worries then. Speak to me, Khan. Uh, now you talk. Hajime. Hey, Hajime, did you see the new rules in the e handbook? E book? It looks like this killing school trip isn't a joke after all. This is troubling. Ebookie's the uh, the musician one, right? I'm going to have to. It'll take me about a stream or two before I remember everyone's names in this. That Monokuma thing is serious. He really wants us to start killing each other, except Miyakiya, because he's just the same guy but fat. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Looks like my fear is contagious. If he really means that, then my face must look really pale right now. Everyone looks pale. <laughs> Sonia. She'll be easy to remember because her surname is Nevermind. I did not know Mr. Monokuma could cook. She's a musician? I thought that was her. She's pretty funny. His appearance would suggest he is ill suited for intricate work. I wonder if it's alright. It's not Monokuma doing the cooking. Maybe whoever's controlling that thing prepared this food. Shiaki. Sleepy. Mmm, so sleepy. I just want him to finish the story already. Didn't you sleep through the night? Kazuichi. Huh? Kazuichi reminds me too much of Leon. Well, what's with the whole people like you are usually the first victim remark? As long as I lock myself up in my room, there won't be any problems. That's something victims usually do too. Don't talk to me. As usual, he's so standoffish. Yup, we are. Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing orders to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? A gun! Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! No, you've forgotten about shitting. The second time he's mentioned, the third time now he's mentioned taking a shit, which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. Hmm. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a Bond? Bond. I. James Bond. This is what I believe. As long as the Ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why. If we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Gross! Wow, he said that with a straight face. How is he not embarrassed? Ah, <laughs> uh, just as I figured. That was kind of lame, huh? However... He does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to, us to be suspicious of each other. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemy as individuals under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. He's definitely changed. Uh, he was much more against working together in the first game. Hmm. However, what we need to achieve that solidarity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we what we need right now is a disciplined leadership provided by an unmistakable leader. Let me guess, he's going to elect himself. I see. Even sports team needs sports teams need captains after all. Rejoice. I shall accept the position. What a shock. I need some water, my mouth a bit dry. Huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Ah, that's better. What? What is it? Jeez. What did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it, you're being too forceful. 
deciding to be the leader all on your own. And why does it have to be you anyway? We literally have the ultimate team manager. Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? An ultimate team manager, maybe? I am the ultimate affluent progeny of the Togami household, destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you, that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Mahiru, please wait. It's true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty, under circumstances like this, to be forceful to a certain degree. But... That may be true, but if we just need someone who can need people, then even Sonya can. No. No, perish the thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. Okay, he does have a point. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. Wow, you changed your it's mind very quickly. Now. Then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much I promise. <laughs> So reliable. It's true he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I expected the ultimate affluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hmm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand. For real this time. I have something to show you all. Something to show us? Follow me. It's at Javawak Park, at the Central Island. Come, follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Byakuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. Just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. Jeez, we may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. No one chose him! They everyone made similar complaints, they all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. Before I leave, oh, there's some people here. Let's go, Jumpy, Magazi, Sandy, Champy! Oh, they all have names. My four dark divas of destruction, let us venture to the end of the earth, Jabberwock Park. There's no need to shout, just hurry up and go already. Now you. You don't have to pay attention to me, just go, I'll catch up with you soon. You don't seem so persuasive when you have that look on your face. I can't help it, when I get hungry, I lose most of my energy. So, after she said that, Akane ate the entire pile of food on a plate in one gulp. Scarf snuff clum pom nom nom. Man, that was good. It went so fast, I doubt you even tasted it. Ah, uh, what happened? Are you choking? Damn it. Crap. Now that I've eaten a little, I'm even hungrier. So annoying. Jeez, Yaku better finish his talk fast, because once he's done, I'm going to eat as much as I can. I guess I should go for now. Before I do, I want to check. Is there one of those, uh, Dolls about. Now they're not going to show up when I scan. Nope. I don't think I can see one. Better hurry and follow after Biokyo. He's at Jabberwock Park, I believe. I don't know if it'd be in an area like this, but it's possible. Hmm. Kazuichi. What are you doing? You should hurry over to the park. Can you stop screaming? What? Didn't the same thing happen last time too? Hey! Hajime, how many times are you going to surprise me? I just spoke to you normally. Anyway, you should hurry over to the park. Damn it! Shut up. I'm going back to my room. Seriously, this is all just one big hassle. <laughs> ah, damn it. Seriously, if we're in a tropical paradise, then why are we in this situation in the first place? Isn't that right? Isn't a vacation so supposed to be nothing but lounging around and sipping coconut juice? Relax. Nothing at me won't change a thing, okay? Hey! Hajime, it's decided. You better come to the beach with me later. Huh? <laughs> For coconuts, damn it! I saw some big ones that fell onto the shore. I haven't figured out how to split them open, but once I do, we're going to have ourselves some coconut juice. I can't just split a coconut to open. Just give up and get some coconut juice from the supermarket. <laughs> ah, you just don't understand. Fine, be that way. I'm not going to ask for your help again. You left. Hope you go straight to the park. 
No, but I should hurry too. You can break open a coconut just by throwing it on the ground. Then you can probably drink some of its juice and, uh... I think the stuff inside is the flesh of the coconut, I think that's what it's called. Oh, fan of coconuts, though. Let's go! I think this way gets me to the central Jabberwock Park. Ah! That strange motor race machine is blocking the bridge. I shouldn't carelessly approach it. It's got like a railgun on its back. Because I've got this Tamagotchi thing, I want to walk around more. Instead of jumping about. Uh, that's different. For skinny people, you are awfully slow. Um. It seems you were just too fast for us. Ah. Uh. Jeez, I never expected a fat soul like him to move so fast. What? So, what's supposed to be here? What? Here? Really? Such ignorance. Hmm. If, you haven't no if you haven't noticed it yet, then I was right to dismiss you, dismiss you all as idiots. You'd have to be blind. How did no one... Th th there, this. It's a bomb, I think. What is that? 21 days left. An obviously out-of-place object placed in the center of a peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's counting down. What's going on? Was this here when we came last time? No! No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Hmm. I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown when it was actually placed here. It seems Batman found a place to get rid of the bomb. It appears. Monokuma must have placed this object. What does this countdown even mean? Hmm, I have no clue. Mm-hmm, <laughs> once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me, because I refuse to believe this is happening. There's some intense denial you got going. Could it be? It better not be a bomb. Are you kidding me? A bomb? -b 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 not possible. Well, yeah, I can understand that. Some of his design choices I'm not a fan of. I do like how Monokuma himself looks. If they wanted to blow up the island, they would have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. Then what are they counting down? Well, it's obvious. The countdown is to make you scared so that one of you will kill. Hmm. It's a mystery. Right? A mysterious mystery, isn't it? Not a Lee! Kya? Kya? Monomi! What? Why are you here? Um... I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. Not that. Uh, no, not that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? I see. Ah, so that's why you were surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. It appears you cannot escape. I see. You must be an undead abomination, risen from the foulest depths of the netherworld by black magic. <laughs> Do you want me to make you my thrall? Hey, hey. Monomi's a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> Some would argue she was never alive to begin with. Now that you mention it, she'd only need, like, a spare or something. A spare? What a mean thing to say. Hmm. However, you have arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wanted to ask you. Come on. What is the meaning behind this timer and this countdown? Answer me. Huh? Countdown? <laughs> what, what, what? what is this? Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. Hey. You really don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't really have a grasp of what Monokuma is up to. Huh? You don't know? Even though you're Monokuma's little sister? That's wrong! I'm not my brother's little sister. Did she accept the role or not? Which one is it? Alrighty! Anyway, let's all do our best. Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island. 
you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Oh. Don't be mean. Um, let's together. I said get lost. Oh. I think she's great. She's good moral support. I, I'm sorry. Um. Um. Perhaps you're being a little too harsh. I am starting to feel sorry for it. <laughs> Miss Sonya, may I call you Miss Sonya? No, I insist on calling you that. I won't be fooled. There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously working with Monokuma. No, she's not. Hey, bastard. Who the fuck cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? Hmm. Looks ominous, doesn't it? You put that object here, and how do they do it in just one night? Oh, I skipped something. Uh, hmm, I can't imagine. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. <laughs> However, that's not all that's unimaginable. This island is full of mysteries that we can't begin to imagine. For example, how were the 16 of us brought to this island? Hmm. I was trying to think about that sentence being bugging me too, but he's right. That is a mystery. <laughs> There's more. Why is Jabberwock Island, which was known for being a popular resort destination, now an uninhabited island? There is no sign of tourists or even citizens on this island. Is something like that even possible? This, too, must be the will of causality. All civilizations are destined to collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. <laughs> so it collapsed. You are right. Society is much like fruit. Once it matures, it is inevitable that it will eventually rot. As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates, as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the status quo and crushes the seeds of any possible reformation. That is... Such a sad trend. Hmm. No, you wouldn't be. Why are you telling me the, the, the black and white bear that forces uh, high school kids to have to kill each other isn't good for local tourism? Ah. Hmm, I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. No. Maybe the mono beast killed everyone on this island. What? And that's how it became uninhabited. It's certainly possible. That's a possibility, but we don't know that for sure. Hmm. This mystery remains a mystery, it seems. Uh, it's like everything here is just full of mysteries. Hmm. You're right. It's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt some no-name group is behind this. What are you trying to say? So in other I words, mean, this situation we're in is undeniably the work of some enormous organization. <laughs> enormous organization? Hmm. Monomi, Monokuma, the Mono Beast, they're all machines that require major technical skill to operate. Are we screwed? Plus, they need a ton of funding. And there's no way those things were made just for the hell of it. In other words, that organization might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Then. Could those fiends be hiding on this island? Not possible. Not likely. They're probably running this from somewhere else, somewhere safe. Oh? Where would that be? I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all this. I see, a big organization, huh? Can't imagine what kind of people they could be. Enough it's Amazon! Well, let's see. There's my Togami Corporation, Sonya's Novacellic Kingdom, and the Kuzuryu clan. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I don't think it's the Yakuza clan. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hey. Hold on, I don't care about you or the Kuzuryu clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonya. I will give him cre credit. He did mention his own corporation. Miss Sonia is a hot blonde princess. There's a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Oh God, someone's sipping. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, just shut up, you loser. L loser? Are you talking about me? Yeah. It's obvious from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> <laughs> it must be hard to make your living in the lame ass loser industry. Thank you. Have a, uh,. Enjoy the rest of your night then, and thanks for following Firebone 675. <laughs> too far, dude. That's going way too far. Hey, Bianchia, were you serious just now? About this being related to your family and Sonya's and such? Hmm. 
I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that we're up against a huge organization, right? However... Even if such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Shits and gigs. Anyway... Whatever. How long are we going to keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? Hmm. Our enemy's purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose. So in other words... So what we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, we'll be much closer to a breakthrough. Luckily, according to the e-handbook, we are free to explore this island. Yes, sir. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's get this crap done. <laughs> uh, what are we looking for? Hey. Arcane, were you even listening? We need to find clues that will tell us who our enemy is. Fine. No problem. No matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against us. Go by four dark devas of destruction! They are destined to fall and turn to ash at the might of my four dark devas. I guess devas, not divas. I wasn't sure how I was meant to be pronounced. Yeah, divas with an I, but. Uh, my four dark devas of destruction. Wow! Wow, how's this came out of your scarf? <laughs> <laughs> they are so adorable. What? Adorable? You say? Thank, Thank you. you. Oh my my! You're pretty happy about that, huh? Huh? Look at that guy talking to Miss Sonya all casually. I'm definitely going to beat the crap out of him later. Sub. I don't get it. In this type of situation, we all need to be a lot more cautious. And yet, I'm relieved everyone is in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I feel like I can rely on them. This must be what it means to have the confidence of an ultimate. Then what am I? Who am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Damn it. I still can't remember. What talent am I supposed to have? Listen. Anyway, let me just say this. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. You must do what you might what you have to do. Observe, speculate, recognize, comprehend. Even if it seems impossible, just persevere. But most importantly, follow my lead. I'll make sure to return you all to your normal lives. This is your leader's order. Understand? <laughs> That's like totally awesome. <laughs> that right hand of his is so plump, I've got the perfect nickname for him. Ham hands. Ham hands? You say? I never, thought I'd, I never thought I'd see the day when someone called me something like that. Huh? Why aren't you getting mad? Naturally. Why would I get mad at something as petty as that? She observed me directly and thought up a nickname. There's nothing dishonest about a name like that. <laughs> Perhaps I've always yearned for this. Though it may seem ironic for me to realize that in this particular situation. He's totally monologuing right now. Such silly talk. Don't worry about it. I was talking to myself just now. I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy isn't just some overconfident, narcissistic jerk after all. Despite our situation, he's mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person after all. Alright! Alright then, we should listen to Biakia and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. It's true that we're not in the best situation, but it's also not the worst. Great! Because we're not alone. We have friends we can count on to support each other. Okay, that does remove the barriers. All the Gross! Seriously? That sounds so lame. <laughs> I knew it. I was thinking to myself just how lame I sounded for saying that. Friends, huh? Until now, I never really thought about friendship. That sort of thing seemed embarrassing. I never would have thought about it in this situation. Oh, I turned the water on my No, actually, it's more like because of this situation. In the end, we never solved the mystery of the ominous countdown. But without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Believe in your friends, huh? It'd be difficult to believe in them right away, but it'd be nice if it could happen a little at a time. Huh. If I'm starting to think like that, doesn't that show I'm making good progress? It's all daytime. Now then, there's no reason to hole up in my room and stare blankly into space. Since it's time, it'd be a great idea if I went ahead and talked to everyone. Now, I know it's sudden, but it's time for a brief tutorial. There'll be moments called free time. Yep, I remember how free time works.
The Mono Mono Yachin. Interesting. And the vending machine in the supermarket. Hmm. An intimate event is activated and added to a report card. I've shown you hope fragments you've gathered to Usami via a report card. You can gain new skills. Ah! Okay. Spend time with someone. Time to pass. You return to your cottage afterwards. I'll pass the time several times. Your free time will end and you'll continue to be Yep. Yeah. Free time! What's this about, uh... Showing him to him? Oh, we can actually look at all his stuff. Gives you info on him. Likes pretty things, dislikes noisy places. Uh, likes Kusamochi, dislikes Sakurabochi. Okay. <laughs> we don't have to think about I can check the skills there. We have none. Uh, Bjorkyard likes coffee, dislikes commons. Gundam likes four dark devas destruction, dislikes earthly life. Uh, Kazuichi likes coke, dislikes sugar free anything. Tevotero likes mama, dislikes junk food. Nakomaru likes freshly washed towel, dislikes lazy people. Fuyuhiko likes fried dough cookies, dislikes milk. Wow, he is a child. Uh, Akane Owari likes fighting and meat dislikes working hard, which is weird considering they're a gymnast. Chiaki likes games, even crappy games, dislikes alarm clocks. Sonia Nevermind likes cult slash Japan, dislikes sour plums. Yoko likes squishy squishy, <laughs> murdering things, dislikes lectures and sour stuff. Mahiru Koizumi likes travelling alone, dislikes bad manners. Mikan Tsukumi likes bathroom smells and alcohol. Dislikes oversized things. Bathroom smells, that's weird. Also alcohol. Are you even a are you even twenty? Are you even able to drink alcohol in Japan? Ibuki likes walking, napping, gaming, dislikes boredom. Peko Pekoyama likes black, dislikes candy. Okay. Goes my Tamagotchi. There we go. Don't know how I get presents for it. Alright. And of course, there's these dolls about. This is where the Monokuma plushies are placed. Putting stuff like this here without my permission. Okay, who do I want to talk to first? All sorts of people you can become friends with. Too much for me. If I'm alone, I'll go crazy. Yeah, I'll spend time with me. I don't know what abilities I'll get from you, so I'll spend at least. I'll try to spend time with everybody as much as I can. Huh? What? Is it okay for you to hang out with someone like me? Thank you very much. Soon they're a nurse, they might give me, their skill might give me more health or something. I spent time sitting next to Mikan, who was so moved she seemed at a loss for words. It looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. I don't have any presents, I should probably go get some. Despite the fact that we started to hang out, Mikan is acting suspicious and hasn't tried to look at me at all. Somehow I feel like I did something bad to her, even though I know I didn't do anything. Um, hmm? Uh, I'm sorry. Stop apologizing, I haven't done anything. But what's this all of a sudden? I thought you clearly looked like you were in a bad mood. D did I do something wrong again? Uh, what should I do? Um, would it make you happy if I took my clothes off? What the fuck? What the fuck? I came out of left field! 
Hold on, why are you reacting like that? You're right, you don't want to see me naked, right? Then how about my money? Seriously, hold on! Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. It's no use. I feel like if I start panicking, the situation is going to get even worse. Alright, I should just calm down first. Hey, Mikan, I just want to talk to you normally. Aww. Talk? Um, um... <laughs> today is such a beautiful day. Yeah. Aww. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is that what she jumps to? Seriously, you don't have to do anything like that. This is troubling. I guess I should start talking to Mikan about something she might get excited about. Uh, favorite bandage type. Um, Mikan, what type of bandage do you like the most? Bandage? <laughs> Let's see, there are lots of different types these days. It's extremely convenient because there are waterproof types and sticky types. But I definitely like non-elastic types the best. They're not too constricting, but they still firmly secure wounds. I'm glad. Looks like she's getting into a conversation. <laughs> ah, so sorry, I went ahead and started talking on my own. Because I asked you about it. Don't worry about it. I'm the one who asked anyway. Also, I feel like I got to know you a little more. <laughs> really? Um, then let's call it a day for now. Okay. Uh, um, yes. if it's not too much trouble for you, I would like to talk to you again. It's been a while since anyone talked to me like this, so... Of course, any time. Thank you very much. Decided to go our separate ways for now. For some reason, I feel like Mikan was staring at my back a little too long. She's not a bad person, but I don't really know how to communicate with her that well. There we go. For now, I decide to return to my room. It's still bright out, and I've still got some time. I, uh, what exactly do I do something with these skill thingies I've got? She acts nervous, she thinks she's always wrong, which will take a close off without permission. I know she's not a bad person, but how do I talk to her? What do I do with these, um, things? I mentioned something about. Okay. Oh! Ah, okay. Oh, I just buy skill. Oh, that's it, different. Okay. Uh, it'd be nice if I know what they do. Increasing form scale and shift during class travel. That would be useful. That would also be useful. Charisma. Ah, uh, slightly speed your aim. Increases your aiming speed. Increases your aiming speed. Increases delay between fire and truth bullets. That would also be useful. That would also not be too bad. Vocabulary. Extra so much you pop on to two statements at once. See, there's got to be, looking at this, there must be some new, uh, sort of, abilities. Like, new, sort of, um, yeah, things I'll have to do during the trials. Oh, new farm. Okay. Austin Thought's not a bad one, so I'll take that. And I might save the fire we've got left. No, because I am just going to jump somewhere. I'm going to jump to the beach, I think. Oh, I get to the beach. I'll just jump to the beach. I'll jump to the bridge front. There's the beach. So, ah, there we go. This is it. The Mono Mono Yachi. It's a, it's a monkey. You say you're a gone when you can find this is not going to find these lightning samples like when you see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's exactly the same as normal. Okay. The way it was written made me think there was more to this specific thing with this monkey. 
Okay. Now oh, the more I add little things appear. Okay. Well, we only need one for now. Uh what that was. No, it's a game console. Could be a hat. Uh, not quite sure what that was. Uh, no idea. These are harder to recognize. Is it a photo frame? A bag of marbles. Ram, a famous anti-energy drink that will make, make you feel very relaxed after drinking it. it. Became a huge hit through its marketing slogan, Blue Ram clips your wings, that's that's Red Bull. Oh, I get a Blue Ram, so Red Bull, I get it. Uh, Kokoshimi, the pulpy white insides of a coconut. If you eat it with soy sauce and wasabi, it tastes like, just like sashimi. Okay. Cloth wrap backpack. A cloth wrap with a very fashionable design, perfect for giving presents to modern girls and elders. Nothing you wrap this with, nothing you wrap with this will be sent forward or backward in time. What? I'm sure it's a reference to something, and I just have no idea. Radio sonde, a meteorological. Uh, that's a hard word to say. A meteorological instrument that measures the temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure by shooting a balloon into the sky. A mail cylinder. A laboratory instrument with a masculine symbol on it. Organic synthesis is possible by combining this with a measuring flask. Right. Funbox, the newest home video game console. It promises a rewarding experience that money simply can't buy. We need to buy games from it, though. That is what I, Okay, so it was what I thought it was. <laughs> you bite into this toy like a dog. When you do, you end up making funny faces. That's why it's called a game ball. That's one way to describe it. A Japanese teacup. A fancy teacup made from royal wood. It's said that regular water will taste sweet if it's served in this cup. Sand God Storm Horn. A broken horn from some unknown creature. Those who possess this horn will be able to read the wind. Caught photo frame. Why is frame spelt wrong? Which frame that automatically converts digital photographs into ghostly photos? For sure, broken wand. Proof that you've cleared the prologue. You saw me on this magic stick, but it's seriously broken. For sure. And where is everybody? thing I could give to Sonya, so I'll talk to her now. Howdy, howdy, ho! I find it's best to give them a present the second time you talk to them, because it's the first time you usually always get their first little thing. I'm truly happy that someone has casually walked up to me to talk. Amazing! This must be what it means to have classmates. I am very touched. Yes, I'll spend time with her. <laughs> then would you like to take a walk? I would like to view the ocean a bit more. I spent time today walking along the shore with Sonya. <laughs> I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. Not yet. Um. I must say, this island is truly a wonderful place. Most tight. The weather is calm and the sea is blue. Truly a perfect resort setting. That might be true, but... Oh my! Oh, did I say something strange? No, I was just thinking that you're strangely calm right now. Sonya, are you really not worried about our current situation? I... Of course I am worried, and I am also angry. Geez, this is not something to joke about. Who's joking? However... What happens next depends on us, and as long as we do not kill anyone, this will all be fine. That's the right attitude, but... Besides, I have come here to learn about your country. I would understand if this were my homeland, but in this case, this land is foreign to me. Well? 
I do not intend to kill anyone, and I do not intend to be killed easily either. The way she said that sounded a little dangerous. If this were my homeland, so will this be okay in your country? <laughs> anyway, let us forget about killings and cooperate with one another so we can return home quickly. If you have any good ideas, feel free to let me know. I shall also do my best to think of something too. Yeah, you're right. When I, spoke to, when I speak to Sonya, I somehow feel really positive and optimistic. Mm-hmm, <laughs> such an honor. Raise your head. There is no need to worry. What she's saying sounds odd, but she certainly looks apart. Typical of a princess, I guess. Ah, uh, that reminds me. What was the name of your country? As I recall, when the country's name was Novoselic. It was the Novoselic Kingdom, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Sounds as though you finally remember. That's not a country I'd ever heard of. Yes, that is understandable. It's often overlooked by cartographers. I'll be back in just a minute. Sorry.
It's appropriate that the spooky intermission is a Nurgling. It's a folk have been infected by Nurglings. Yes, that is understandable. It is often overlooked by cartographers. A Novoselic Kingdom is an extremely small country, and governed by an absolute monarchy. Though the population is small, our economy is thriving, so we are not in dire straits at all. Is it like... Liechtenstein and Luxembourg, very tiny. For generations, the royal family has protected the kingdom and its people from its neighbouring countries. Thanks to that, the people still have complete trust toward the royal family. Well? And also, wine and chocolate is one of our country's hidden specialties. I see it. It really does sound like a kingdom. So since you're the princess of that kingdom, does that mean you live in a castle or something? Yes. Of course, the royal family has been living in the royal castle for over a thousand years. Though it may be old and small, the castle is truly a wonderful historic building. Of course! Of course it's easy to get lost in our subterranean labyrinth, and our barracks are fully equipped as well. So castles really do have those. Um... Um, anyway, is it alright if I ask you something as well? Hmm, if I can answer it, it's fine. Who did you have your heart set on initially, and who do you intend to switch to later? Huh? This situation is surely similar to the story of seven men and women. I believe it is a standard tactic to start wavering and swapping partners. Um, hold on, what are you talking about? Huh? Do you really have no idea? It is Japan's legendary drama. Well? It starts off really upbeat, but then it gets really serious. I never expected that to happen. I was all like, seriously, what is going to happen? I just could not take my eyes off the screen. Uh... Momoko's feelings at the time were... <coughs> my goodness, so intense. I continue to listen to Sonya extensively talk about Japanese dramas. At least now I totally understand that she's a major J-drama fangirl. Aha! Uh -huh. After well, excusing myself for my long conversation with Sonya, I left the area. Yeah, the bell just now. Could it be... Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Hello, everyone! The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin! Hmm? I wonder what festivities await you! Oops! Don't want to ruin the surprise! It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park! Very well. Did he just tell us to go to the park? It's the middle of the night. What's he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all of this, and goosebumps sprung up all over my body. If I'm not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this right. Which means there's nothing I can do except listen to him. Damn it! What is it now? Knowing that jumping left and right doesn't count as walking. I've leveled up. So enough about this wee little Tamagotchi thing. Can I give presents to it? I can. I don't know why I want to. Too, huh? I have no choice. After all, the handbook clearly states that Monokuma is not permitted. That defying Monokuma is not permitted. It'd be foolish to resist if it's just going to make things worse. Hope everyone else feels the same way. That worries me a little. Anyway. At any rate, we must go to the park. Guess I have no choice. Jackpot Park. Oh, is he hosting an event? Everyone was already at Jabberwock Park when I arrived. Once again, you're late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong either. That's fine. Anyway, it seems everyone is here. 
How annoying! Uh, what is it this time? So friggin' annoying. Then you shouldn't have come. I mean... Well, I mean, I don't know what'll happen to me if I don't come. <laughs> Since none of us know what'll happen, maybe you should be the one to test that out. <gasps> hey, you may talk like you tough, wise guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared too. Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. I guess even a big bad Yakuza like you must have been scared of that monster, huh? You. What the fuck did you just say? Wait! Stop it, you two. Fighting among friends isn't good. Huh? What did you just say? Friend? Dumbass! I'm not your friend, dumbass. When did I ever become friends with you bastards? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Let me be perfectly clear. I can do it, you know. Huh? huh? You. What did you just say? <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me? Then I'll repeat myself just once for you. I said, I can do it. Do it? What are you saying? Don't tell me. Are you being serious right now? What is this? It looks like a stage, but it wasn't here during the day. Is it going? Where's Mikan? Let's see her there. Shiak. I think. This is taking a turn for the worse. I think we need to calm him down. Should I talk to him then? Oh, there's Mikon. We can go start to say some pretty foolish things. <laughs> mom, 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 we should calm him down first. Calm yourself. He sure is acting like a tough guy. He's probably trying to hide how scared he really is, especially since his baby face ain't scary at all. I can't eat. Not so loud. Hmm. It's fine. Just leave him alone for now. It's fine. I thought Yakuya of all people would stop him. What's going on? Seriously, what is he thinking? That's what are you saying for you, Hiko? Let's just calm him down for now. Hey, hey! D do it? Nobody should be saying that right now. No, 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 no! I didn't hear anything. Anything at all. It appears you cannot <laughs> escape. So it's begun. The unsightly battle against those who serve the darkness. <laughs> what happens if we defy Murakuma? I really wanted someone to test that out. Why don't you do it? Even a loser like Kazuichi could have helped us with that. Hey, isn't this kind of bad? The mood's totally set to like oh no's right now, you know? No problem. I got it. Ibuki's gonna help get the party started by singing. <laughs> Man, even I'm not sure I should say that right now. Something, yeah? Something like this. We should not have these fights. We're all friends here. There, go. You must calm him down. If it comes to it, I'll be forced to uh, to avoid a situation like that if possible. Now, talk to Fuyuhiko. Hey, Fuyuhiko. Why don't you calm down for a bit? Bastard! Don't talk to me like we're friends or something. Don't misunderstand. I live in a completely different world than you bastards. Kill or be killed. That's the kind of world I live in. Jeez. Heh. <laughs> the current rules make more sense to me than that play nice and get along crap. What are you saying? If you don't stop it right now, I'm going to get seriously angry. You. Don't treat me like a kid, bitch. Just stop. Just stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up! There's no way I'm dealing with this kumbaya crap. <laughs> if any of you guys want to die, step forward. I'll fucking kill you right now. Starting to get pumped up! Sounds fun. Give me your best shot. What's going to happen if you're this easily provoked? That's enough. Enough. Huh? Uh, I see. For your Hiko, I understand what you're saying. Don't worry. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also thought the same way as you. Don't treat me like a fucking kid! Are you treating me like a kid too? Let me say this. But what would reckless killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'll be executed. Or perhaps that's what you really want. If so, hmm. you'd only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament. That's what a child would do. You... What did you say? Listen. Listen, so long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. 
I will not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fuyuhiko. I won't let you die. Yeah. What the hell? Everything you're saying, it's just empty promises. <laughs> it's true my words would ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. My name is Byakuya Togami. But I am Byakuya Togami, and I am destined to bring these promises to fruition. <laughs> Yowza, he's so cool. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I'm just going to do whatever I feel like. <laughs> do what you will. However, remember what I said earlier. In the name of my family. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is the duty I have appointed to myself. It seems like Byakuya resolved it. For now. But even if he's the ultimate Yakuza, there's no way Fuyuhiko really meant what he said earlier, right? Hmm. He's in a suit. Um... What? This is troubling. It looks like you guys were arguing, so I wasn't sure when to actually show up. Looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Hey, hey. Why are you dressed like that? Hey, um... Oh, didn't I mention it in my recent broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time. Oh, no, don't tell me you're going to... Correct. That's right. Since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. Oh god, I hate Japanese and Japan's two-man comedy thing. I don't find it particularly entertaining. Why does it matter that we're on a tropical island? But can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course! Of course not, that's why I brought my partner. <laughs> what is this? That figures. Thank you for waiting! Now then, without further ado, I am pleased to present Monokuma's side-splitting live two-man comedy show. Huh? I didn't hear anything about this. Are you telling me I have to improvise? I'm speechless. Hello! I'm Monokuma! Um, I'm Monami! And together we are the Monokumas! Now, I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind-reading abilities! Uh, you can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food! Hmm, your favorite food is... You can do it! It's obvious what rabbits like! Kid. That's right! Davers! <laughs> I'd never eat a dead body! Now then, Monami's up next! Come on, do a short skit or something! What? There's no way I can do that! No worries, it's all good! Characters. I sure. know a technique to summon the god of comedy! So, which do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive, or after you're already dead? It's hard when they're dead uh, to take blood from a dead body because the heart's not pumping. Why would you ask such a cruel question? If I'm gonna summon the comedy, then I'll need a lot of blood. So I got a comedy once blood. Hang on. <laughs> There's no way so I'll let you take my blood. You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You don't even have blood, you robots. You guys better be careful, too. You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy. Oh, yeah? She's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. They're always the underdog. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of her. Monami went out of her way to erase your memories! Good for her. Say what? Wait, huh? You guys don't even remember how you got to this island, am I right? Well, that's because Monami stole your memories! Well, what are you saying all of a sudden? But wait, there's more! She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island! She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at home. He jumped Speak right into that fact. Last time what he took a while. A shocker! In fact, I don't think he ever revealed it. <sighs> I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. Oh 
only a total hack would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliched twist like that. Please stop. <laughs> Wasn't that a huge surprise? In truth, you guys aren't freshman students at all. Oh, yeah? You guys just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories. Quick, someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. S seriously, this is bad in so many ways. Nope. I'm Mono punch. sharing with you. Yeah, his backhand is far too powerful. It's a backhand, apparently. Huh? What did he mean? Hey, hey! How was it? Was it funny? Or was the comedy too highbrow for you? Come on. Hey, what were you saying just now? Huh? What was I saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean when I said that your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Are school memories completely? What is he saying? <laughs> Th there's no way. Because I just entered Hope's Peak Academy, and then I was brought to this island right away. It's true. That's because that's how you remember it. All thanks to Monami stealing your school memories. But what are you saying? That's impossible. Who knows? Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope's Peak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They're probably worried sick about you. Maybe. Impossible! School memories were stolen? That's ridiculous. That's right! There's no way I have memory loss. You can't! Don't, don't listen to what he says. Blah, 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 blah. Limit breached. I won't believe, I won't believe. I refuse to believe such a thing. Yep, everything's okay. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> You're lying, right? Stealing our memories, that's a lie, right? You're just trying to make fools out of us, right? Wrong! Nope, it's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you arrived at Hope's Peak Academy, you all experienced a strange dizziness. Oh. How do you know that? Actually... <laughs> Why, that was the cutoff point. The memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? I feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think. I couldn't speak. I could only breathe, it, breathe in heavy, gasping breaths. <laughs> so, a long time has passed since then. Impossible! There's no way. Why? On the contrary, why is it impossible? That's whether it's not whether or not it's possible. There's no way we can believe it. No, no. You just don't want to believe it, right? Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories. Uh? Huh? Hey. Um. However, there's a catch. Could it be? Don't tell me if the catch is. <laughs> <laughs> figured it out yet? That's right. That's right, you guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. Oh, uh, wah -wah. Hey, hey. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Hey, man. Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. You piss me off. Hey, stop running your mouth. Wah -wah. My, 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 why so angry? I'm just providing you all a motive from the bottom of my big, generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done. No, that's not your fault. Humans are natural born cowards. They even cry after their mum squeezes them out. Special breeding service! That's why I'm giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Quiet. Stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional ramblings will convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I don't even believe that memory loss crap in the first place. <laughs> but more than that, what you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What's going on? What do you mean? Hey, um... You guys don't know each other, which means... Yeah! None of you realize that a traitor is hiding among you, right? Huh? <sighs> hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island... I got it! That's right, there's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. What are you, you... saying? All this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense. It's obviously nonsense. Lame. For real, you guys, how can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't know each other's true natures. 
That's why, if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know. With those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue with him. Anybody. But nobody said a word. They just stood there. Uh -huh. Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys? It makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? Come on, make 300 strike. It's first come, first served, and the winner takes all. If you want to survive, you got to find that person before they find you. Even after Monokuma's boisterous laugh faded away, laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair. It consumed every one of us. Is it true? Is it really a traitor among us? <gasps> it's a thing! You got it wrong! Ah, it's not me, by the way. I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. You're only th making things worse for you by staying silent. That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. I won't believe. I That's won't right. believe. I don't believe it. Because there's no way I can believe it. There's no reason in the first place to believe it. Hey. Manomi, you would know. Uh -huh. Huh? huh? Is what Monokuma said true about our memory loss and about the traitor? Um... Um, I mean... Everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't look back to the past. <laughs> Keep your eyes fixed upon the future. Well, let's do our very best. Huh? Ah, she ran away. <laughs> How ridiculous. Memory loss, a traitor. It's completely fiction. Dumbass. I can't deal with this bullshit dumbass. As you said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all of my school memories, everything, a traitor hiding among us. But what really struck me was when Monokuma said, You guys don't know anything about each other. Ahem! Hope speed. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone! Good night! We've heard, I don't know if we've heard his good morning announcement yet, but... Hey! When I do, I'll uh, start skipping through him, because we already know what he says. Hey, what should we do? It's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep, and try to keep our minds calm. No, oh, ain't that cute. Oh. I guess you're right. This is your leader's order. Just so you all know, do not think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monokuma's morning announcement. Um... Not troubling. I think the saying goes, I am frightened so stiff. Huh? You, son, are getting in the cage. I feel pretty stiff right now, too. Uh. That's not how that saying goes. But it's not her fault, she's a foreigner after all. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that, but later I realised something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage with my head drooping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? What the hell? I don't understand at all. I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed onto my bed. Immediately, I closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape from this otherworldly reality. They say impossible is a word that can only be found in a fool's dictionary. Just give me a
Uh, and we found the Fool's Dictionary. Obviously it's impossible to use a word that's not in your dictionary. If someone can actually make the impossible possible... It's all over if you say that! You can truly call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. I'm surprised he didn't actually say the Fool last line. He normally did. At least in the last game. Let's see what he says here. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like now Yeah, then. we have heard him. Let's show some... Yeah, he did say it before. Wasn't sure if he said something different because we were stuck in our room. I slowly and awkwardly sat up in my bed. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but... It was still an improvement compared to last night. We all said we'd meet at the restaurant. Eh, it's fine. Just want to double check. I'm going to try and max out Mecom's thing just because uh, I think I get a trophy if I max someone out. Let's see what sort of uh, double check what things she likes. Not everyone is as strong as Bianchio. I've never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I just run away from my problems, but it's more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. And so, I was still able to live. But this is different. Oh, I'm sorry, I was being too negative. Now I understand, I'm the same as well. What? Now that we've talked, I feel assured once again. Being loners won't get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. You know, a deal like this will make us cling to hope. Yeah, you're probably right. Bye now. I'll be heading to the restaurant now. It's going to say, um, yeah. The problem is, I don't know if she'll survive to the end, but yeah, whatever. I'll try. Uh, hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> huh? Huh? What is it? I just said good morning. Why is she so shocked? <laughs> My first time greeting someone, and I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Um, could you do it one more time? Uh, hello. Good morning. G good morning. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of life has she had? Are you? Jeez. I'm so sleepy. Mr. Hamhands is so selfish. So we find to spend the morning sleeping in. But if we need to have breakfast anyway, what's wrong with eating it together? Well, I just spend, spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's already fine. Um. um, eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming too many sugars and fats. Hey! Who made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without my permission. Oh, I'm sorry! Jeez, huh. listening to this ugly bitch is crying in the morning makes me so sick. Yoko, you definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. Hey! Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's with the sullen face? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not the one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I don't want on my mind. I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. Man, just for kicks, I should. Prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people to come chat with me. Got it. Ah, just so you know, it's going to be a girls-only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Yeah, yeah. I actually don't even know what they would. I'll go on ahead. You better hurry and go to the restaurant. Why hasn't she moved on though? That's what I don't know. Everyone else did. Thank you very much. Not left she yet. She's gonna stay there? I guess she stayed there because of the thing with Kyoko. Or Hyoko? Whatever her name was. I'm not bad with her names. Lestalorte. Several people were already at the restaurant. But nobody was talking. Not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. I've made you wait. Is everyone here? Huh? Huh? It seems Fuyuhiko is not here yet. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe he already got killed. <laughs> Kya? Dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. 
Why does he have to act like a lone wolf at a time like this? Maybe... Could he... Is he thinking up a plan to kill someone by himself? You must not! How's Luigi? You, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey! Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. I have decided to throw a party tonight. Huh? <laughs> a p party? That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? Party till the sun comes up. This is your leader's order. Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like party. Hmm. On the contrary, there is no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait! Um, hold on. I agree with Bianchio. It doesn't do us any good to stay bombed out like this. Hey! In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party. Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You fiend. You say that with such significance. It's all clear now. It's decided. We're having ourselves a party. But... Even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. I'm sorry! I'm terribly sorry. I'm so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Then let's party hard. Ah, in that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Mm. Where is the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. Mm. An enclosed space? How beautiful. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Nor will the cottages. With so many people, we would all be pressed up against each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course he was going to say that. But if we want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. Mm -hmm. Pressing up against ladies without sneaking aboard the women-only train and drag. I feel so lucky. There's something wrong with you. I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. No, <laughs> I'm not going to agree with you on that. Confidence is seriously, seriously impressive. Hey. But how about that old looking building near this hotel? Huh? That run down place? You're right. Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However. Indeed. However, Monomi has, for Monomi has forbidden us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. <laughs> I have heard your conversation. Heard it all with my very own ears. Ahem, I have good ears, because I'm a rabbit. I see. Oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. Uh? Huh? Hmm. Then what's the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they for Mona Kuma's eyes only? Hello! Ah, she looks so disappointed. That's fine. Oh, it is of no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Listen. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yes, if it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it! So in that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. <laughs> together? That's not going to happen, because you're so disgusting. Understand? Do yourself, a stay do yourself a favor and stay away from the mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> uh, your kind words make me want to cry. <laughs> Um, so we're all good with the old building? And? And what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? Bro! I have never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I am excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey! No way. There's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands. Aww. Yeah, I don't want to do it either. Jeez! What, nobody's going to do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Random drawing? Actually... To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. It's a bit of a trouble preparing this. Just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning. Okay. Does that sound fair? Judgment! 
Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this, of this drawing. All right. Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everybody took turns pulling the chopsticks Nagito held in his hand. And when it was all said and done... What? Huh? I'm left with the red mark? <laughs> Someone called the ultimate lucky student. You don't seem very lucky right now. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. I'll take that as a compliment. I believe it is. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. All right. First, I need to prepare my ingredients. Then I'll start cooking at the old building. There's no mistaking it. I, Teru Teru Hanamura, will go all out. I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then... Then I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. Hm. Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's monthly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. Free time! Let's go find Mikami. I'll spend at least some mornings with her. Just sits that way. Because that way it's more likely to uh, increase in case we don't have things. She's over there. Oh, there she is. Mikan. Um. Do you have business with me? Yes, I do. So even if I don't, yeah, this way, even if I don't have a gift for her, <laughs> it'll still increase it a bit. Is it okay if we spend time together? You're not being punished for something, are you? Spend time today rambling on with Mikan. Uh, I might have something, but I'm not entirely sure. So she likes alcohol in a small bathroom, which is weird. this silence goes on any longer. Did I do something wrong again? Seriously, you didn't do anything. I already told you that I just want to talk to you normally. I see. I'm glad. Um, if you would like to talk, I don't really know what everyone likes yet. Well, um, there might be lots of things I'm not good at doing, but I'll do anything, so please let me know. Do, do anything? Of course, I'll do anything. Hey, I don't think you should say something like that so freely. Huh? Why? I mean, before we even arrived here, everyone else didn't seem to mind. Fun, I tried eating strange bugs, and I let them use my body when there wasn't anything else to ride on. Oh, good lord, okay. Also, I had to be responsible for debts and be the target of the dart game, so good gravy! Mm-hmm, I'm pretty useful, you know. Hey, hey, that doesn't sound like a joke at all. How can you be smiling when you're forced to do stuff like that? Do you actually enjoy it? Obviously, I don't want to do that stuff at all. But if it makes everyone not hate me and smile at me, then it's much better. For some reason, I feel this profound concern. Why is she like this? Um, Hajime? Um, would you like to try it out too? <laughs> Doodling is very fun. Please draw me wherever you like. No, I'm good, thanks. Also, I'm good at pretending to be a pig. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Just please don't look at me like that. <laughs> I oh, like how she doesn't want to be looked at the way, but what stuff she's saying is what's causing me to be like... Uh, no. But now let's talk again later. You need to calm down. I'm sorry, I'm terribly sorry. I'll make sure to get it right. I'll make sure I get it right the next time. So please talk to me again, Eek. I beg of you. Sure, I promise. So I'll see you later, alright? Yes, I'll be waiting. Forever. It's like I ran away or something, but I should definitely try to talk to her properly next time around. I'm hoping that by the time the end of it, she's not like that. Anyway, her report card's been updated. So watching me from somewhere forever. Okay. Let's go speak to someone new. Uh it's Kazuchi, it's Nikomaru. That's 
Chiaki. I do have something for Chiaki. That's Pickle. Let's go speak to Pickle. Because I also have something for her, I think. Nice black. Decides candy. Yeah, I might not have something for her, but either way. Party car. I'm not that good with social events. What should I do? Yeah, let's spend time with her. Yes. I have no reason to decline. Let's talk for a bit. I spent time today talking to Pekko over tea at the restaurant. I think Pekko and I grew a little closer. No. It's cool that we're hanging out, but we're not really talking about anything. Hey Pekko, do you like Kendo? Yes. Th this conversation isn't progressing. Um, is your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. Sort of. However. Is there something wrong with that? No, I was just wondering. Pekko's stare is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Let's see it. I'll pick that probably won't offend her too much. Ah, oh, I know, Pekko. What level are you? Could it be? Are you talking about my kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to the years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has already been deci decided. Protect who I must protect. Cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. Holding a blade in its true sense is my aim. And so... That is my reason for existing. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. Pekka was just a typical kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How could I ask such a foolish question about levels? I don't really know much about kendo. But I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? You're really cool. You say such strange things. No one has ever said that to me before. Um, well, thank... Never mind. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness? Yes. There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo. My childhood friend's dog. And even the finch I had as a pet. Why? But all animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. I see. That's really painful. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. Oh, then what about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters the next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the Four Dark Davers of Destruction, they might not get scared of me and run away. I should look for Gundam right now. Her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey. Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you'd like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Pekko walked off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to touch something fluffy. But based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Pepper. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. Da -da -da -da. I decided to go back to my room for now. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, report card. Let's see, I've got eight. Neural liberation. Sure, I'll take that. So I don't think I can equip my skills now. Probably, I think it's right before the actual trial I can. Ahem! It is now! Please return to your room now, Ben! Alright. Good night, he says. Whatever, I have a party to attend. Alright, time to go to the old building by the hotel. Party time! I mean, it was the last party I was at. Oh my my! Oh, are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here? 
Anyway, what are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Teru Teru's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Alright. Peko and Mikan. Yep. <laughs> it's about time for the party. <laughs> I'm really excited. Ah, uh, I'll do my best not to be in the way, so it's fine if I stay here, right? Are you really worrying about something like that? Aww. Yes. Alright. Back off. I let Fuyuhiko know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. Now, well, you know. It's him. Oh, building hall. Yeah, look. Biakia. So this is the old building. Head of a hotel. Definitely looks worse for the wear. Ah, it's got a nice look to it. Hm. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Hmm. Because I need to do a body check. A body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. Do you me to bend over and cough? Listen. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I, I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Bianchio went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. I see. Because you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well. I shall allow you to enter. Hmm. It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Bianchio was standing. Metal cases. What? Dural... Dural... Duralumin, actually. I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for... Hmm. Well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean, emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as you said that, Biokia turned his back to me. I guess that's at the end of our talk, but... He's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. What did he mean by emergencies only? Sorry, I was just having some water. Oh, a bathroom. Actually, I go in there. This bathroom appears to be unisex. I need to go now, or should I go to the I was going to go in there and see if perhaps there was one of the dolls. Oh! These are all boarded up. Okay. There's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. Jeez. However, Bialkia will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should have head over there as well. Isn't this it? Yeah. Dining hall. <laughs> ah, Hajime, how do you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yep, I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Alright. My hero. Hmm. My hero, I mean. This old place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagito went to all this trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrank because of deterioration. Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Oh, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. There's stuff we can look at as well around here, like this control for the air conditioning. It's nice that there's an air conditioner, but the filter might need to be cleaned before we turn it on. Ah, oh, I want money. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So... You gotta do something about it. You're right, we should do something. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. So we're on the same page then, I'm not sure how to say it. 
table. Such a big table. For dishes to be placed here too. Cool. Gross. That creep Bianca rubbed his ham hands all over me and called her a body check. I'm like sexual harassment. That, that's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys too. <laughs> so? I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Eh? <laughs> I'm pretty in demand, you know. You're just kidding. Dishes. There are a lot of tasty looking party dishes, meat, fish, it's all here. Nagito. <laughs> Even though it took me the entire day just to clean this hole. I'm glad everyone's so happy. Level up. Instincts. Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Ah. Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting groped so thoroughly by a man that was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check? How annoying! Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how friggin' annoying. How big is the zipper on your coat jacket I've just noticed? It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around calms me down. But Bianchi put it in that Duralamin case of his. Aw, man. Sniffle. Arcane. She's gonna eat the food. Hey, what's up? It's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. There are lots of fancy looking party dishes on the table toward the tables towards the front. Uh I've spoken to everyone. I haven't looked at this table, I guess. Such luxurious looking party dishes. Looks tasty. Spoken to everybody. There's a camera, but we can't look at the cameras. Which I'm glad we can't just look at every single camera because it's Iron plates? That reminds me, I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But why are there iron plates bolted onto the walls? All this is not what it appears to be. Eh? Stay back. One of my four Davis, Supernova Silver Fox San Li, has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window? Let me tell you. There are no this. windows in this dining hall at all. I assume these iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my hmm. domain. Soundy. It appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day. Countless lives gasp for their first breath, and countless more go the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it. But, this place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly we, suddenly we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent protagonist to ring throughout the dining hall. I've made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Hmm. Teru Teru is in the kitchen, and it appears for you Hiko did not come. I apologize. I did, I did inform him about the party, but... Jeez! It's not like you need to apologize, Peko. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. You won't be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? What? More importantly, hmm. Come on. Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Bianchi's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Not possible. Dangerous. Has he stopped his way toward the table? <laughs> ah. Hey, what are you doing? You're hogging all the food! No fair! No, I'm not! I don't care what you say, you're totally freaking <laughs> out! I'm telling you, I'm not... Look carefully at this thing. Is it the spice that they're on? Looks like delicious roasted meat! And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? Hmm? It's an iron skewer. Yeah. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous thing. could just take the I meat take off the skewer. and collect it. Hello there. <laughs> Hello once again, Obi-Wan. Hey, looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the- Huh? What? 
Some messy eater ruined my arrangement. Hm. Who made this dish? Um... Th that would be me, but, um, are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 no. Dangerous? No. That's churros, churros cow. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's a South American meal where you stab me to an iron skewer to cook it. I could not remember the name, but I knew it was a South American thing. Mm -hmm. Is it churros cow, maybe? Churros cow? It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Eh? Iron skewers aren't allowed either? If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, watch me. Come with me, I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. Bianchi's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Let's go. Alright, this is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there are no dangerous items. Thoroughly, huh? We have stomped into the kitchen, and I followed after him. Might be taking it a bit far. Listen. Let's get on with it then. Search this place thoroughly. Well, I already see knives. As you should that order, Bianchio began searching the whole kitchen from one to end to the other. Hmm. Look, I found these. There are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me. Those two. Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. I'm surprised you wouldn't say you can't kill someone with chopsticks. After he said that, Byaku threw the forks and knives into a duralim duralimin case, one after the other. You're being very thorough about this. Alright. Knives. There appear to be various types of knives, but these... What? Out of the question. Knives are far too dangerous. They're used for cooking! Hand them over to me. I'll safeguard them. Bianchi, I grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it into the Duralamin case with the rest. Of course. Ah, uh, what? What do you say? What else is there? Quick list. Um, this paper is... I see. I see, it appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue, and even a portable stove for cooking cook pots. Hmm. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. Very strange. Very strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. The skewers. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That teru teru. He sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat that much food. I see. Seems there are no dangerous items like that skewer in the churrascao either. It's like that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Phew, I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish and bones. Fish bones and meat bones are also dangerous items. Yeah, that would have been a bit silly. Hey, is it necessary to go this far? Don't make me repeat I'm myself. doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really? Is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly, I can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person. I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll just tell you a little bit of it. <laughs> I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Yakia has a past he can't talk about. Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. If we're to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that past you mentioned. That's enough. Now is not the time. However, one day there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. 
I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than I thought he'd have. Such silly talk. Hey, enough with the unnecessary banter. You better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, got it. I'm sure. So, he sure works as hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Huh? Why? Wow, the kitchen's a mess. What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Huh? Ah, there are no knives or forks. Why? How come? Don't make me repeat myself. I literally just said that. I removed all of the dangerous items. You're kidding, right? Hey, tell me, you're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items? No, 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 well, no. Most of the dishes are finished. All I gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem, but. But, but still. Hush, <sighs> you may. Stop it. Get off of me. Eh? Yeah. Not into that sort of thing? Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I'm the one who's depressed here. Hey, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an old building, right? If it's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it, right? <laughs> You're right. There's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. Well, well, very well. All I, need to, all I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you're planning to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. All right, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. You too, Teru Teru. Come to the dining hall for now. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. Uh. Ah, they're finally back. Hey, hey. Hey, let's eat already. I'm starving. Hmm. There's still an issue we need to address first. Lies. Eh? An issue? Right. Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word, I'll do it for you. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where to safeguard this Duralement case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Just sit on it. Can we just leave it here? Hmm. I've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but... We should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um... Someplace safe. Oh, there is a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. A storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then... Then someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Huh? Yeah? Who? Who? I'll do it, of course. Uh... Yeah? Are you sure? I guess, if you insist. Just kidding. Aww. But it'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I'm really not that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> If I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However... Teru Teru has gone for trouble of cooking. Is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay! Yeah, that's totally fine. But... If you're going to do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Yeah, why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. Also, I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. I see. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that. <sighs> oh, that came out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. Understood. So I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I shall get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Taking with her the Durellamin case and a plate piled with food, Pekka left the dining hall. I see, hm. I see. Seeing Pekka's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool melancholy vibe. Huh? But shouldn't she have taken that other case with her too? Hm. This? No, this case is fine. That's weird. Ah, no fair. You're like the only one who got to bring their own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. This Duralamin case stays with me at all times. I put the key to the other case in here as well. I will take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. But more importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party. Stop talking. No, there's still more. I'm gonna do it! Ah, uh, who do you want me to beat the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already. Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Hmm. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh, are you talking about... That's right. 
Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that could obviously disrupt this party. Alright, so you'll let me eat, eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on. Wait a sec, if you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're just going to end up perforated. Move. Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? Hey. Starved to death? That's a little extreme. Hmm. Our opponent is not someone we can just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. Hey, hey. I'll do something about it. What? Do something. You? Hey, hey. Hey now, what can a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger. Nope. I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. I won't. <laughs> do you intend to utilize Monomi? Yep. Yeah, if I can talk her into helping us. She might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least that's what I think. Oh, that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's easily manipulated. Oh. Plus, Monomi and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. <laughs> that's a pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? But will you really be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. What is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. So it's all settled, right? Then can we... <laughs> You're right. Let's begin. Alright! Fine. <laughs> so the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> you better keep me entertained! And with that, the party started. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. That's rather scary. Indeed. You're not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself! I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey, everyone. While we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Oh, yeah. She takes photos. Wow. That sounds wonderful. Please do! This feels weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together. Friends who've developed a sense of unity. Mm. Hmm? Nekomaru? Did something happen? The party's just started, but... I must return to my cottage. Come on! Don't be foolish, I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me! Don't stop me, Bialkia. There comes a time when a man knows he's gotta go. If I don't get now, it will shame me as a man. Sure. Shitting my pants will totally shame me as a man! What's with this guy in shit? So he was talking about the toilet. What? You need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? Okay. I've been trying to use this many times. To use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? What is this blasphemy? <laughs> what now? Impossible! My hellhound earring has disappeared. Did it vanish into subspace? Calm down, you probably just dropped it somewhere. Oh shit, I'm gonna shit! Quiet. Shut up, don't you dare! <laughs> hey, is it really alright if I eat all this? Don't be an idiot, make sure you leave some for me. Come on! Hey, be up here, everyone. Come on, I'm gonna take a picture. Say cheese! Alright, say cheese. <laughs> hey, why can't you all act a little more mature? Beep, beep. What? Mm -hmm. What was that sound just now? Zap. Huh? It's dark all of a sudden. <gasps> it's a blackout! The blackout? Yeah? A blackout? Hey, I can't see anything! In that instant, as we stumbled around in the darkness, our fear swallowed us up like a flood. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! The sounds of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall. And we were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? 
Yeah, for a leader, Bianca's doing a very bad job of keeping everyone calm. Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. If they just wait for a bit, their eyes will adjust. At least enough that they can see. Complete darkness. Therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. They will adjust! Not perfectly that you'll see clearly, but they'll adjust enough that you can see enough to find your way to the door. This is... Ow. Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. That's another good way to do it. Within the darkness, we fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally... Zap. Ah. At that moment, when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. Th that is... Mikan's appearance had been compromised. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry! I Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Excellent question! Yay! An erotic pose! Here for some. obviously a fan service moment! Yes, well... No! Please don't! Please don't look at me! <laughs> I can't take this at all! Ibuku, you're... Oh. It's time to snatch some shots! <laughs> Ibu Ibuku, you're There's starting to concern no me. I can do that. <laughs> Please forgive me. Just forgive me. I think Ibuku me, might need to be put in the cage as well. Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her already. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry for all this trouble. So sorry. Hey. Yeah, from now on, just be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad the lights are back on here too. Yay! So you were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuichi. You were unusually so useful this time. Hey. Well, no, I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Yeah. Then why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you Don't, stupid? Who knows me? It's so useless. <laughs> nah, it's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. Oh my. What happened? Sonia, did something happen? Um... No, Byakuya is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Eh, Byakuya? We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Byakuya, who promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? Th that's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um... Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey. I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room, so can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Yeah, got it. For now. I guess I'll go look in the office. Then? I shall go look around the hallway. Oh. I'll wait here, since I'm kind of in the middle of eating anyway. She's still gonna eat while this is going on. I'm not surprised. Mm. I must. Bathroom. <laughs> I must man up and check the bathroom. The bathroom was locked. I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez! Jeez, Mr. Ham Hands run, ran away just because there was an itty bitty blackout. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. How are you gonna reach him? Aren't you short of him? Even so, where did Bianchio go? I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chianchi was there. <laughs> what are you doing? Weren't you going to use the bathroom? Damn it! Yes, but it appears someone else is using it. And the door's been shut since before the party even started. <laughs> Damn you! The bathroom is for everyone! How dare you hog it! Someone's been using the bathroom since before the party even started? <laughs> That's what it looks like. No matter how many times I check, it never seems to be open. <laughs> this is bad. Oh shit! I'm going to shit! What? Whoa. The more I try to hold it in, the more it wants to come out. Uh, hold it in. Come on, you can do it. Even so, that's a long time to be in the bathroom. Who's in there? Been there since before the party started. It can't be Bianchio. Hmm. There's another door. That's the office. Ah. Just what it looks like. Bianchio's not here. 
In fact, nobody's here. Doesn't it seem odd? Huh, now that you mention it, wasn't Pekko supposed to be in this room? Hmm. I know, right? Isn't it weird? Why is she missing too? I found a doll. Circuit breaker. That's a circuit breaker. Why is it all the way up there? How's anyone supposed to reach it? Alright. Uh, yep, entrance. Sign up. Um. I have searched the hallway, but there is no sign of Bianchi. Where did he go? Is he outside? I haven't looked yet. I'll go check. Okay, so that's what they meant by the entrance outside. Gianchi and Monomi are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Hajime? What about the party? Oh. Oh, it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Biakia pass by here? Nope. Biakia? Nope, I didn't. Well, what happened to Biakia? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building, and Biakia vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope. Nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. Hey. Ah, Hajime, how'd it go? Well, I talked to Chiaki. She said he didn't go outside. That's... That's weird. No one was inside the storage room, either. Hmm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. No one was in the office. It is strange. Nobody no? was in the office? That's weird. Huh? What about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Pekko was there. Huh? Huh? Pekko's gone too? Hmm. Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done. Truly, truly outrageous. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Did something happen, Akane? It smells. Well, do any of you smell something? When partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestine, it's decomposed by bacteria releasing gas. It's mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract, but whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted from the anus. Yes! And those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that! No, I'm not talking about that. Wait! It smells like blood. Which means it smells like iron, or copper, hmm. or rust. As Akane's nose twitched like a beast, she suddenly pointed. <laughs> it's coming from over there. Table at the very back of the dining hall. It's just Biaki's body under there. The smell of blood. What in the world is at that table? It's under there. Under the table. I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out toward the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's going to happen. The shot, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Probably knocked over the lamp at the same time. Oh, well, he's dead. And night vision goggles. For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw? I saw the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. Already dead and beyond recognition. Deadly life. Biaka, Biaka, why is Biaka here? I just stood there, horrified, and the showers of screams rang out behind me. As I gaze quietly at the body of my former friend. Why? What is this? It's nice when I already read out their noises. Hey, 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 hey! This, it's impossible. Are you kidding me? Don't mess, don't mess with me. This must become some kind of mistake. This can't be real blood, right? It's gotta be something like jam or sauce. 
because if not, this. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, gracious, things quickly took a turn for the worse. Yippee! My, my, now this is interesting. Thrills, chills, On this chills! tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder? Could it be? Hold on. Then does this mean. <laughs> of course. That's right! Miyakia was killed by one of you! What? Of course! If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. <laughs> look, he has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? We can't see his face. A face filled with regret that his life has ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this. If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Yankee was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered. The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swore within my body. Which means that... that I've accepted the fact that Yankee was murdered. What? Peko. Is that really Yankee? Why? Why? Why did this happen? Why be up here? I see, I see. It appears Fuy Fuyuhiko is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna do? So in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! I love the a certain amount of time, it's just so vague. Class trial? Hey! Um... I've already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blackened. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is? Correct! That's right, from this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. That's impossible! It can't be, someone actually killed? There's no way! <laughs> If you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's... I won't believe it. One of us killed Biakia? There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, no! If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's hurry up and begin. An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blackened. And it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. <laughs> Hey, what do you say? You can't! Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not, believe what Monokuma says. You should not believe what Monokuma says. No matter how much you interfere, there is only ever one truth. On my grandfather's... On my grandfather's name. You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's... On my grandfather's grave. Grave? Your grandpa is dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's... Emergency. What happened to your grandpa? Did his plane crash? I don't even know where to begin at this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Ah! It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. Did you see that? This stunning display of power. Defy your big brother and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. <laughs> Oh, just bleeding. Ah, oh, if only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovey doubt and dovey deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. Yippee! I wish you the best of luck. I got, we gonna get our file? And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone without a spare. This? What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. Oh. A search for Biakia's killer? Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Ugh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um. You can't doubt each other, because you're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Hamhands really did get killed, right? If we don't find out who the killer is, we're all going to get killed, right? Please wait! That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I've finally made friends, there is no way I can doubt them. No. Seriously, did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. 
We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you! No, friends doubting friends is a major no-no. Shut up! Shut up! Just go away already, you useless piece of trash. Ooh, uh... That threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? But No, I don't want to do something like that. No! I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However. It's, it is just as Hiyoko said. If we're going to get killed for not, not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Bialkia. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason? Yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Bialkia's death. I'll do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Um. Ah, before you start, can I say something? Well? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. <laughs> to destroy the evidence? Pointing! Look over there! That big bulky brawny guy is perfect for the card shop. He still needs to go shit though. Oh! What the heck? What happened? Man. That guy has a sensitive heart, despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey. Um, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body. It's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Byakuya's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Uh, my hero. Uh, um, uh, um, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best not to get in your way. Yes! I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy. Please. Um. So you're going to stay as well? Is that okay? <laughs> and what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. Hmm. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us will, will be able to do that. Hey. So, let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Bialkyo. <laughs> but to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cruel. <laughs> but I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't believe. I won't believe it. Bialkyo got killed. I don't believe that at all. Your denial is starting to annoy me, Teru Teru. Uh, <laughs> Fine, I'm in. You are right. If we are to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is, that's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope. And so, I still gotta do it. Investigate! Ta-da! Ta-da, you thought it was time for the investigation, but... The Monaco File! Hey! Hey! Just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a Monokuma file? I don't like this! Jeez, explaining all the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Why That's like I have bones in the first place. I don't even make... It. I don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to explain. Let's see, the Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. What? I brought it to you so you guys can s smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice, I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. She was a horrible bitch. Hey. Nice, you say. You're just a selfish meme. What's this? Hi, my, 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 me, the meaningless mascot. You're still here? You stupid brother! Don't put me in the meaningless mascot genre. Damn it. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. Yeah. Ouch, you don't pull my ears, they're gonna come off. <laughs> they're finally gone. The Manakuba file, huh? I guess I should look it over just in case. Oh, it's digital. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The, estimate, the estimated time of death is 11.30pm. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries, and no chemicals such as poison were detected. So, Bianchia really is dead. Damn it. You promised there wouldn't even be one victim. 
Why'd you end up being one? And now, I'll never know what you're going to say to me. I cannot talk to others about my past. I expect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be... Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys? It can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? A traitor? No way. Just because he said lots of serious things, it doesn't mean he was the traitor. What am I thinking? There we go. Welcome to file number one. We need to carefully examine everything. That's right. I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Let's start with the body. On this very table, Bianchia was... First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is... The lamp! The, this desk lamp. It looks like an antique lamp, and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useful to the black. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me. So, now it's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. I let out a shout as if to encourage myself. I quickly look beneath the table. Tape. Immediately I notice an unexplainable smell, like rusted iron hanging in the air. That's blood. Enduring the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze towards Byakuya's body. Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. But he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. Night fishing goggles. Hmm, what is this? It looks like binoculars, but... Why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hey. Aren't you, mate? Those aren't binoculars. Yeah? Then what are they? Perhaps... Those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock, st stock self-defense kits, too. If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakia during the blackout? Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There seems to be a point applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? It would show up more likely, I believe, under a um under my vision. A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Biakio? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Bianchi has thoroughly patted down everyone, and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in the Duralamin Dur case. What the hell is Duralamin? It's possible they stole this knife from the case. Or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dull. Could this be glowing paint? How do I need to take number like that? Okay, I wasn't sure if I need to take His body! The body is glimpsed face down under the table. As, he was, as if he was in the middle of attempting something, it looks like he was... According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Bloodstain. Blood flung from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool under the table. That's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the pool from the blood pool. Hmm. Um 
sure I pretty much investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. If it's just a little. I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Bianchi's death. Come. Eh, yeah, I must I must investigate my classmate's body. Yes, I'm the one who has medical knowledge. That's why I need to do it. To do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right. I need to calm down first. I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. I am terribly sorry about that, for showing you something so unsightly. Ah, you made me remember it again. Oh, do we need to cut to that? Ugh, I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget making a fool of yourself, how in the world did you end up like that? Well, I got startled by the blackout, slipped on the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back up... Eh, it's so embarrassing. Please, please erase it from your memory. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. JUST SAY YOU WILL! Sorry. Well, I can't stand it. You don't- that's one of those times you don't need to be bluntly honest. WHY IS THAT A- WHY IS, this, why is THAT A PIECE OF EVIDENCE? Hey. Hey, hard to make. There's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Bianchi was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. And if Bianchi's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it. But, but why was B why was Bianchi's body under a table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Although if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are you talking about her? Yes, I know who he means. Mahiru, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute Bianchi is alive and well, and in an instant, something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fine. Why? And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. That we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either. But we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If, if I had only acted calm during the blackout, Yalkia might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Jeez. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Hey, Hajime, forget about what I just said. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Anyway, I won't draw on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Hey. Photos. The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Now, your camera looks to be analog, so... Well, it might be digital. Hey, Bjork, you have a camera. I'm going to take a picture. I might say cheese. Oh, yeah, the pictures. Hmm. Want to see them? I have a digital camera, so I can show them to you right now. It is digital. Really? Please. Um... Let's see. It's this photo. Hmm. And this one. I'm looking around to see if I spot anything. I took these two, two photos right before the blackout. But... Huh? Huh? Is something wrong? Hmm. I didn't realize until just now, but right before the blackout, Bianchio was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Well, yeah, he wasn't under the table. Wasn't the body under that table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Bianchi was standing along the wall, farthest away from that table. You're right, that's pretty far. There's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you pro approximate everyone's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Hmm. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me! Got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. Alright, now that that's decided, you better, do your you best. better work hard on your investigation too. 
How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? Do you understand what's going on? You gotta find out how Bianchia died. Yeah, I know, but... It's good she's all fired up now. But she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. Yeah. Oh, hell, how nearing. Answer my call. Impossible. Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? You. It is not a meat earring. It is the hellhound earring. Right. Go in a far away, la la far away land. A beast known as the hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Or was this a new random? The hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its, fla its fangs glistening with blood. And his drenched blood red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Shiver! The Hellhound Earring. So that, may, so that I may never forget that night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian, I wear that earring at all times. Was that really about a friggin' Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. I won't let you! Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor? If it didn't cover the whole floor, it might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so that's what transpired. Such a clever little bauble. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor and peered beneath the floorboards. I can see it! Ah, there it is! I have found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound Earring. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good feet. Let me ask. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening, or I to use a tool would probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up. What? Give up? What? The world? I meant give up the earring. You! Fool, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. If you rich, you will die! But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? Fine. It's foolish me to allow you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. I must earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. But it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. And we can have a look at this case. Ah, this is the metal case Bianchi had with him. I believe he said it was made of development. Last time I saw it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things inside this case, like a nice stick and pepper spray. Mm -hmm. What's this? A hard plastic case. But it's just the case, the inside is empty. I wonder what was inside. But the one thing that really catches my attention is this small key. It must be the key to the other Duralamin case. The other case was in the office, and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. The key to that development case is right here, and it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Bianchio was taken from that case. Which means the weapons inside that development case aren't related to Bianchio's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Bianchio have this development case in the first place? I believe to protect everyone, so if someone did come to attack them, he could fend them off. The case is packed with all this security equipment. Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case. No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? Because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful. Okay, we got the uh, thingy mabobo. Okay. Let's see, I always buy the air conditioner. Um. What's his name was back there, she was there, she was there, he was there, having a shit. Yeah, it's just Mahiru said. Beyond the same for the bucket's real fault. Okay. I don't know if these all have information, but I'll just look. Nope. No, we didn't need to. I just was seeing if she'd done her little autopsy thingy. Air conditioner. Controlled air conditioner. Hmm, air conditioner. 
could it be? Hey, all of you, why can't you act a little more grown up? Hmm? What was that sound just now? Ah. This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. The air conditioner is remote control. The timer is set to 11.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Byakuya's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means... <sighs> that mechanical sound before the blackout is probably... It probably came from this air conditioner. I'm gonna go for a quick... I'm gonna go stretch my legs just to wake me up a bit. It's a nice and yawn. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. Now then, where else should I investigate? Hajime. Ah, Hajime. A moment? Hmm? What is it? Hey. We're finished with the investigation here. Would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, I'm talking one of us is a killer. Can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> <laughs> You're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. We both harbour a special feeling towards Hope, toward Hope Speak Academy. Isn't that right? Yeah, but... Fine, if we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. Thanks. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even though, what he said about us being similar? I don't think I agree. Now then. As for now, we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall. I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. Alright, I'm gonna go stretch my legs. That'll just be a moment.
Right, I'm back. Just quickly walked around her. Stretch me legs. Um. Um, there is something I want to ask you. Hmm, what is it? Um. It is strange, no? It appears that only that wall is a different colour and material. Why is that? Perhaps. Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Hmm, you've never seen one before? Is it all that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it? If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow! I see, it's like a barrier, just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. <laughs> Not about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed! <coughs> Truly, I am culturally, culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. The storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. Even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay here for a long time. Stacked boxes. There's an awful lot of boxes. You don't have time to go through each and every one of them. I guess I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps? Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth. Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Is this a blood stain? Huh? Eh, yeah, a blood stain? Come here, take a look take a closer look. What? It's too dark, I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain. This means this tablecloth is connected to be up here's murder, right? tablecloth has a bloodstain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a bloodstain! Hmm. More tablecloths here. Sacks of clean tablecloths, so they haven't been used yet. Is there something strange here? Uh huh. Ironing? Yeah, irons. Huh, are these irons? that they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on this ironing board? I think they had a bunch of stuff turned on so that the circuit would trip itself. Mm. So I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. I was looking for Bianchi after the blackout, I also found these irons, but... When I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But th doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister? <laughs> So by having three irons plugged in and probably some other stuff on in other rooms, and then having the um, air conditioner set to turn on at 11.30, that tripped the yeah, trip oh, breaker, Jimmy. and that's why the blackout happened. Hey, Ajime, how much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Hmm. Ah, I get it. You're right. A bit odd that he doesn't want to hang around here. Wow. The only other things in here are the monitors and the camera. That's everything. The way he wants me to leave very quickly is a bit suspicious. Kitchen. Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Terry Terry? Uh. <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Wouldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Ah, no. that's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see, then I guess it's not possible. Did you work with fire in the kitchen? I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but... I guess it's not that easy. There we go, we've got his account. Yeah. 
feel like this will have to play into it. Bialki must confiscate all the dangerous items on the kitchen's equipment list. What if I'm reading through this list? Just like the knife set next to Bialki. The knife next to Bialki's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Bialki's body check? That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat downs. That's okay, so I probably bought the knife in in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to a murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I agree. I think it might be Nagito. Because he was in here, he could have had a chance while setting things up to have hid that knife under there. Hey. Okay. chance might be some sort of here. I doubt the dishes will have something. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big, even I was shocked. Yeah. It's Guess a dish fit for a tropical it. island. I'd never be able to get meat like this in Aoyama or Azabu. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less Aoyama or Azabu. I get it, you don't have to repeat yourself, but it's so big. Where did you get it? <laughs> I asked Nekomaru. Apparently, he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. It is bare hands! <laughs> That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Seriously, Nekomaru is so wild, he's certainly right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Aoyama and Azabu. It's a wild country, things like that. They slipped my mind a lot, you know? Man. Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste, because it's just awful. This happened right when the party started. The only ones who ate any food were Akane and Pekko, who took some portions for herself. Eh? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. To it's tell okay. you the truth. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there... <laughs> I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. He's scary when he's mad. Really, the food is a part of the. Okay. You're right. Yeah, sure thing. That's it for the kitchen. Oh. I see. I see. Apparently, a great man once said, "Investigations should be done on foot." Yes. So that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey. Hey, Hajime. I just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? Yeah? How'd you know? <laughs> so you did hear us, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who was who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to Ibiku. It'd be easy to mix fried rice with gravy. Ugh, that sounds disgusting. Huh? <laughs> la li la la la. I'll hardly eat it for breakfast. I see. Oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. <laughs> you should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can you tell us what you heard? I got it! Leave it to me, I'm gonna take a bite out of you. Yep. And if you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? Aww. Let's see, the first person who raised their voice during the blackout was. <laughs> That's right, it was my hero. <gasps> what? Blackout. Next was Kazuichi's voice. And then the next next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. It's, it's pitch black! My future is pitch black! <laughs> what a nice remark I made. It's the point and has its own unique charm. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is. Ow! Turn 
the damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. <laughs> you guys, where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me. Give me lots of praise. I, I heard you the first time. Just wait, don't get any closer. Hey Nagito, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Biakia said during the blackout. What Biakia said? Hey. Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell, what's going on here? And th this is... What do you mean? Hmm. About that, why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yeah! Then praise me, let me bite you. Ah, Tom, why are you really biting me? Ibuki's account. Strange woman. Still locked. Ha, ah, it's locked. Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who actually who's actually in there. Hey! Hey, is someone in there? Knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but no response. This is going nowhere. Guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? Might be related to the black house. So it's better if we checked out the circuit breaker first. Okay. That must be this building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. Hmm, it doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, they, yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Oh, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad, I forgot about that, but... You're right, even with a step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reached the breaker after the blackout. But who? I did it! Whoa! Wow, it's here! Actually... You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way... Ah, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But, but how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reached the circuit breaker... <laughs> my body stretches. This guy ate the gum gum fruit. You know, I'm very elastic. I won't be fooled! Liar! I'm serious. Wanna see? Wanna see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. No thanks, just imagining it makes me want to puke. Oh really? Such a shame. So cool. Still, don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. I see. But what the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker? Well, in that case, I'm convinced there's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it or set it to be tripped, I've already established how. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Huh? Time of hearing set to 11.30pm. Some time for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Biakia was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the Duralum Dural case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well, that is... Ugh. Ugh. 
I suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? No, I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me? What was that? Hey. Pecco, it appears the bar from inside this old building is currently occupied, so... I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? Seems like it'll be a tough path. Cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pecco wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? <laughs> hmm, it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pecco as it is. What does that mean? Huh? I mean, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something. That's right. So if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Hmm, is that really what it is? This Duralamon case. It should contain all of the dangerous items Bianchio collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. Bianchio had the key to this particular Duralamon case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? He's dead. Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> So, I should open it. This guy doesn't feel any remorse. Was that on his shirt? Was that always there? Those weird red marks on the actual shirt? I know on his jacket they were, but on the actual white shirt. See? It's open. How did he close it with those skewers in there? Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from you. Because the key to this case was inside the case Bianca had with him. Guess you're right about that. Maybe. Hey, isn't Pecco the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wanted off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Bianchi after, after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but... When I got here, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly, or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Hmm. Pecco's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker, and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Bianchi. Hey. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like, an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Now then. I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. Where else could there be? There's a lamp. Is this the, is this the staff use for busy work? Hmm, this is... Okay, nothing wrong there. The only thing wrong there was my inability to speak all of a sudden. Yep. Okay, so you pretty much finished looking around the old building. Hey. So how about we check out Bianchia's cottage? Bianchia's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be a good idea to check it out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. I don't really mind going there together, but I should worry about the possibility that I might be that danger. Hey. You mean am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. So I consider living with doubt in others. It's much, so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. As I thought, you sure are strong. You were definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. All right. Let's get going to Biakia's cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. When I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Ah, oh, they're looking for uh, his stupid hey, earring. What are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder, I think. So I thought it was important to check it. No, it is a good idea. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I didn't reach the table where we found Bianca's body, right? Hmm. And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. 
Then is it possible that the killer killed Bialkia by stabbing him from beneath the floor? No, because the knife was up there. Yep. That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well, mm. Mm, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But... Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Wow. No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from the outside the building. It's a relief. Relief? Why? Sorry about that. Because if you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Alright, for you, Hiko. I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well. Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, for you, Hiko came here. Huh? He did? Huh? What happened, Fujihiko? Huh? Oh, hey, what are you doing here? No are going at a place like this. Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. Huh. How diligent of you. Hey, hey. I'm not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no. Not even if you paid me. Party's stupid. You make me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? But of course not. You... I was just going for a damn walk. What, do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No. It's not like that, but... <laughs> then leave me alone. I need a new chair. This one's... This one I've had for too long, I think it's felt four part. And then, he just left. So that happened. But why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey! He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Ah, oh, when did we start talking about video games? She argues, I see. We don't know really, even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. I keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. I have a suspicion. <laughs> Well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Bianchi's cottage. <laughs> as long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I, not unleashed even I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. Anything to add? Um, um I guess for now I've discovered the building is surrounded by fun fences and I sneak on the floor from everything. Yep. So, yep, okay. Nothing new. Oh, Fuyuhiko. What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently Biaki's the one who got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever, just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Huh? Hmm, checking my alibi, eh? Hmm. I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Shiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! Tch, nosy bitch. Jeez. It's true, I went for a little walk, and then just by chance I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence. A coincidence! Alright, I got it. Hm. Dumbass. I need to act so defensive. 
Nagi told him. All right. Now then, we must head over to Bianchi's cottage. Get Walsh check the map in the hand. Yeah, which one's his? Um. Yeah, since the boys are all on this side. It's right next to mine. Oh, it's locked. Hey. I guess we need to ask him for help. So Nagito took a deep breath. Hey! Hey, Monokuma! Did you call me? Yay, did you call me? Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? Hey. Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you can do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. That would be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this, just hurry up and open Bianchi's cottage already. Well... This is for the class trial, it's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This is troubling! Hmm. If it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Baba Valus! I'll leave the rest to you! See, I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why does it open with a magic spell? Jeez. It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I, I see. I guess we should go inside then. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's got a lot of books. Envelope. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter? Someone sent to Bianchi? That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. You should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Oh. Huh. Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. This is... This is... Is this a crime warning? No. If it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe... Hey. That's why Bianchi has suddenly decided to throw a party. Ah. Oh. The first kill will happen tonight, because someone made this threat to Bianchi. He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter. He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening. Even if it was just a worst case scenario. Hey. And what Biakio kept saying, how he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise. Then why did he keep it a secret? If he had just told us. No. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? Mm. If everyone knew that th what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other. And at that point, there'd be no turning back. So Bianchi had tried to do something about this all by himself, without telling anyone. Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Bianchi this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank, and it might have nothing to do with Bianchi's death at all. Hmm, what was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still, we come all the way here, and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter mur murdered Bialkia. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Bialkia would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Bialkia and killed him right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? Hey. Hard to make. There's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. <laughs> ah, which reminds me, you asked Mahiru for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout. It's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. I, I see. I understand. Hey. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of our autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. I'll see you later. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. 
but now's not the time for me to worry about Nagato. There's not much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. Aha! I was wondering if there might be a hidden humor around here. Him in a seashell bikini is very disturbing. This will be. Oh. What's, uh, what's Minomi doing over here? Too cruel. This is just too cruel. Oh yeah, I might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Hey, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. I don't want to. I don't want to help you guys mistrust your friends. But what the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, now's not the time to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why the old building's windows are covered by iron plates? Huh? Iron plates? I covered them up so nobody makes the mistake of going inside. So it's dangerous because of the renovation. I see the renovation, so that's why you cover them up. Because it's dangerous to go inside. Danger isn't supposed to exist on this island. This isn't how it was supposed to be. But why did it get like this? It's too cruel. Too cruel. Just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. You have to do this no matter what, damn it. How was that loud voice just now? Hmm, the bathroom seems to be open. I don't really need to go right now. There's really no need for me to go inside. We're not gonna acknowledge the fact that it's finally now open. Huh? I feel so light-hearted right now. <laughs> Hi, Neko and Maru Nidai have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? Oh. I won't lose to anyone. Not even to my past self. Sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? Shit. Yeah. What? I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Let me mention it, he said something like that shortly after the party started. I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. Jeez. Everything I'd be angered by something like that. You've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by that whole ordeal. Oh well, best not to go into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout. So what I mean is... The bathroom was finally unoccupied after Bjarki's body was found. It's about how long that lasted. At least that sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. Can I maybe go in there and see if there's some evidence? Nope. Cool. What? What's evidence? What is? What's investigating? What's like checking something that could be possibly reveal a clue? What? What? What's that? That's not a real thing. Oh, she has urine, you know. Hmm, just as thought. It seems there's no way to get under the floor from inside the old, this old building. Maybe. So it's just as Nagito said. If that's the case, I guess I should give up on finding Gundam's earring. I was never trying! My hero? Hey! Hey, you're here. Where the hell did you wander off to? I was wondering. I was investigating as much as I could. Hmm. I see. Well, if you weren't slapping off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Hmm. Yeah, sort of. You don't sound too sure. Hey. I'll just take a look at this. Um. Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout, I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did, this diagram was the result. So this is everyone's standing position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. I made this diagram from analysing those photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. 
Just as I thought, Bianca was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible. There's no way you'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Ah, what's the slightly standing from the table where Bianca was killed? Um, it's the desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it, just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? If that cord is extending from the table where Bianca was killed, that means... Hey. So, did you find something? Hmm, it's not clear to me yet, but... Hmm. I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue, or just a waste of labour. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? Hmm. It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. Can I look at the... No, I can't look at the cape. You can't? If you'd like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Um, I tried, within reason, to perform an autopsy on Bianchia's body. And I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Bianchia's chest and abdominal region. Deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around 5mm in diameter was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. Not a knife. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry, talking about it made me sad. No need to push yourself, I mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. I'm sorry. Still around 5mm in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick or an ore. Or a skewer. Perhaps the knife, the reason he was going for it, that was what he wanted to use for the f to protect uh, himself Alrighty, or others. Guys, it's finally and he time. hid it there himself, maybe. That's right! It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. Of course there is. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. Ooh, secret. <laughs> I'll see you soon. A mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face at the central island? Okay. Found it. Huh? Huh? Are you kidding me? Hey, what the heck is that mountain? Where did that get there? Don't mind that. How did they even make a mountain shaped like Munokuma? Uh, probably the same way they did Mount Rushmore. That story. That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. I mean, what Biakio said before, right? You are right. Biakio, we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> I still can't believe he's dead. <laughs> Biakio, 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 Biakio. What happened to Gundam and Fuhiko? Now you didn't mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got it. Ah, I know. They probably ran away. No way. Oh hell no. Nah. There's no way I'd let them escape, you know? Look, I dragged this one back over here. Don't fuck with me! I'm telling you, let me go! Hey! Hey now. now! If you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up! Hey! Hey, Fuyuhiko, what were you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing, I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room and I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? How can you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We're doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to, just survive. Wait! My hero, that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. Dumbass. Um... And I guess we're waiting for Gundam? What happened? I am right here! Now then, let us Ah, you got his ear back. Remember this well, a main character arrives when he intends to... Huh? Hey. Seems you noticed it too. <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well now. All right, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Please wait a second. What's this? My my, Monami, 
Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I, I, do you actually want to join in? Please, I wanted to. Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Special breeding service. Oh well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. See ya later. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. So hurry over. Huh? He told us to come, but how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? I just mean about a secret entrance. Was it a secret entrance? Rawr. What the? Something's shaking. This is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. Oh, whoa. What the f did that come from? Something came out. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? What? Such a suspicious aura. Even Crimson Steel Elephant Magazi is trembling with fear. Wow, that's so totally suspicious. I like how we've downgraded from a lift to an escalator. Hey, 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 hey! Forgive me. Seriously, just forgive me already. Uh, hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. No way, no way, no There's way. no way. There's just no way we'll find the killer. Stupid! Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake. We've come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's no way for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was step upward intensely as the escalator carried me. <laughs> and when each of us entered the Monokuma Rock... Ah, we're back in a lift. <gasps> this is an elevator. I see, this entire rock is an elevator. <sighs> Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However... However, if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. <sighs> Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. I can't make my teeth my teeth chatter. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. I have no idea how that sounded. There we were, listening to unpleasant brawls as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending. And then, the elevator door slowly opened. Welcome! Okay! Ta -da! This is the class trial field. How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fates. Why you? What the hell is he thinking? Knocking us in a shitty looking place like this. Don't fuck with me! Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole. Poo hoo hoo hoo. Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. Looks like everyone knows, even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked towards the seats we had been assigned. From this point on, we needed to find out who killed Bianchia. The ultimate affluent progeny, Bianchia Togami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. The person who did it is one of us. I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true... We need to find out by any means possible. Because that's our only option. There is no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. 
so, this life-threatening trial billow billowing with hope and despair has begun. Yes! And not for what? No. <laughs> we'll do the trial, of course. It's its skills. Ah, uh, let's see. Lost in... I think I can only use those two for now. That will do. Neither you can change your difficulty during that. Didn't give me the option to. S oh, wait, no, I did save. Boy. I was saying, didn't give me the option to. Let's go. I think we have some slightly new mechanics now to this. Then, let's begin with a sip during the class trial. You will present your if you vote correctly. I know this part. Will I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. <laughs> and that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely. There is no doubt that the Second blackened time, is uh, lurking uh, among you. Still a character who's hanging from a rope. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, Wait, this class trial is going to be 100% fair, so there's no need to worry. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, except for that time you raped another one of, of you know, one of the other class trials, but sure. You hate me that much? Now let's begin. You hate Nana, we? You're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? No complaining, let's just settle this with our fists. That's a bad idea. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Biakia bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah, what you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. True. Then, let's start with that mystery. The reason why Bianchi's body was discovered under the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. It was me! If we can't do that... No, thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this, no matter what. Class trial is finally started! We'll provide some tutorials, every important moment. Yep. No one will stop debates. Help without any breaks, subject to any advice mistakes contained within the statements. Yep. Okay, that's different. Oh no, that's always been the same. Session to I'm probably just gonna read those to myself because, you know, it's pretty much the same stuff as before. Knife gaps in the floorboard and blood stain under the table. Why was Biakuya's body in a place like that? Oh, I don't like this new way his body it shows to go through. The table at the very back of the dining hall. Okay, so After the killer murdered Biakuya, they probably moved the body there. That's probably what that's huh? for. Why? Obviously, by hiding the body. They tried to delay its discovery! Like a dog burying a bone! Mm hmm Yep. Why was Biak in a place like this? His body was underneath at the very back of the dining. After the killer murdered Biak, they probably moved the body there. Nope. No, that's wrong! No? I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. It's interesting hearing our voice now, because we haven't heard this guy's voice yet. Not much of him, at least. Though there was a Punch lot of blood me. everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Also, he's probably quite heavy. Aww. And here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. Okay. 
I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? That's where they were stabbed. Yakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table, table for reasons under the table unknown, crimes. and that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? I know Obviously, why. Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. Do you even know who Byakuya was? The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. But just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. And he was also nowhere near it. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? Dive under the table. It's connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, then it's probably... Dove under the table. If it's connected to what Bianca was doing during the party, then it's probably it's, it was to get the knife, maybe. I can prove it with okay, this. Okay, it's the knife. It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Knife? Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, "I am the murder weapon!" Bianca, you probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, you move under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? He had knife vision goggles. And it was if he painted knew beforehand, in. he probably would have done something right. about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. Huh? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. I love proof. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! Well, yeah, it's the point. In proof statement, there's only one weak spot, but from this point on, there'll be various weak spots. Yep. No weak spots there are, you'll be only. There will be only one lie or contradiction in the debate at a time. False weak spots. False weak spots report. Said, but you'll slow your trust with them. Good luck, have fun. Knife. Blood in the Wow! Okay. Give me a lot of things. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table. During the blackout. Yep. That sounds correct. If that's the case. During the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. Mm-hmm. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Oh, and that was of course your main the concern. Yeah, I couldn't see in the dark either. Nah, you could. No, that's wrong. Why are my eyes like we know skip cards? No, Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So, are you saying Yakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Oh, this is new. No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. Were you surprised by my hero's sudden argument? Just between you and me, I was also surprised. Just kidding, I'm sorry. Now then, when this kind of argument surfaces, you will go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called Rebuttal Showdown. In this mode, you have to counter the other person's claim, draw their weak spots, and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remarks with the left stick. Person shape their remarks, it's important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. 
this is what you can skew. Basically, you can skip the base moves to your advantage. So you can skew toward their advantage. I can't come over your screen, I'm going to show the shot, so you can't lose this one. This is the number of times you can cover marks during one round of the debate. You will lose marks of the sharpness, even if you miss, so please be very careful. Advantage for a certain length of time, the other party's argument changes. Conversation will develop. Perhaps they wind up providing some weak spots. You can not normally cover marks containing weak spots, instead, we'll skew them in toward the other party's advantage. Plus, it's going to be very big. Just going to pay for you to do the triangle. Okay. Half, what's truth, Wade? I'm terribly sorry, it appears that there's been a delay in contacting you. I'll make sure the person in charge of contacting you takes a very long vacation. In this mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades. Okay. No, that's about it. There won't be any other changes to your handbook menu. Only the name was changed, but don't think a change in feelings is important. Okay, right. Let's see how this works. Good luck, have fun. The model showdown. Okay. If you just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Okay. Can't afford advance forward if I'm just listening. I should let my heroes hear what she wants to say and then find a point that I can argue. If you just okay. use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Damn it! Oh. If you just use common the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Can't advance forward if I'm just listening. I should meet. Let my hero say what she wants to say, and I'm trying to point that I can't. If you against. just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Okay, that just tells me how to do it. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. I'm a bit lost on how this one works. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. If you just use the killer obviously used those night vision, that's gotta be it. Okay, Where's that's all it wanted me to do. Used them? Okay, that's what I was doing, but... Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So okay. those goggles were planted and the killer brought them to the crime scene. Allow me to cut through those words. I see, right. That's a bit of a weird one, I'll take a get used to that. definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumin case Byakuya had with him during the party. He found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. Yes. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. Assume's not that Plus, oh, very clever language. Was the only sure, whatever. Could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? No. If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? Oh god. Times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. Ooh, you totally mean that in a perverted way! He does. The knife was brought in the Durellman case along with the knife vision goggles too. No, that's not possible. Yep. Duct tape! I see! There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape? They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Oh! So that's why we found duct tape there. Yep. Though Byakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. Unless you left it there. This may be off topic, but 
Why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. I mean, I know why. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. Is it? He probably knew. Someone was planning to commit Yeah, you know that, Nagato. You, you and I both found that. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? No. You think so too, right, Hajime? Yeah, yeah, I'll show me evidence. I can prove it with this! It's a letter! Everyone! Can you please take a look at this? It's a note, and turned around is a letter. I'll try to remember the order of that. Be careful, if I swap tonight, someone will definitely kill someone. It was me! <sighs> the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. So, who's the someone? Me. Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. No. Wasn't me! Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies! What's a friendly lie? Those are still lies! It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Byakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. It's a bit much for a prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. You should have told us you received a threatening letter. Yeah, but then you'd all distrust each other. Panic. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. Strong sense of responsibility as our leader is his empty. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Me. Well, obviously, the killer. The killer? Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Bianchi? <laughs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place! But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Bianchi. There's no way I can believe that yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? Sure. What is it's it? the whole point of this trial. Simp. I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. Of course, what? If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. Yeah, it was the tape. Glowing paint. I see. What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table, and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? Yes. But so painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. Yes. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. No. <laughs> it was you, Peko Pekoyama. <laughs> Peko killed poor Bianca. Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I guess she's not. <laughs> How can you believe her so easily? But with Echo's height, 
I'm glad someone pointed that out. I thought they were gonna make me have to point that out during the whole showdown thing. <laughs> I don't care about the evidence that says she couldn't have done it. She did it. By dripping the breaker directly from the office, Pepper was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? We call weak spots will start appearing. We call weak spots you've seen up to an argue spots. We call weak spots not true. The weak spots are the true portion. You need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing that the person's testimony contains lies and mistakes, please find the truth boards that prove that the other person's testimony is correct. Oh! There's a little hot in here. From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. Bloody hell! Okay, well, I need to recheck their accounts. Uh, Terror Terror. There's definitely just about by electricity. Who else is was there? Uh, Nakamaru and Chiaki. Chiaki, when Chiaki was standing guard aside, a few people from the okay. And Nakamaru. She could have caused a blackout at any time. That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Hmm. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. You weren't in the office? I think that might be what I need to shoot with it. That's clearly a desperate excuse! Yep. yep. Since Pekka was in the- She could have caused a- That's impossible. Huh? What? Because I was not in the- office. Not even before the- There we go. I agree with that. <laughs> Does that consent? No. I think Pekka was telling the truth. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. <laughs> has evidence that proves she might be telling the truth. This guy, you're gonna hard on for her. And yeah, it's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. So it was just that she was in there. Okay, that's all it was. was I thought there might have been something else. Actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekko. I. I guess that would be. true. Okay, the way you've said that now makes me think you're lying. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you're so insensitive! I, I understand. I mean, on one hand, yeah, maybe sure, but also, this is your life on the line. I think if it comes down to people thinking you might be a murderer and then you would be killed for it, I think you could say, I was out in the shit. Oh. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. Shit. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Again, life and death. I think you don't need to worry about being embarrassed. Hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you. Okay, Nakamura, you didn't need to say that part. I said it's fine. I <laughs> just, but just dude, imagine like. You were in the bathroom for I'm trying to think of a, I'm trying to think of a murder trial Did you that was food poisoning or something. Rough with someone if they just said like I was in the shit off. but they didn't because a bit they were embarrassed. As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that. I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Of course, they're food poisoning. How did it feel to 
do your business in the dark. Did you get excited? Welcome to the cage, Teru Teru. It's not somewhere you ever want it's not somewhere you should ever want to be. Seriously, stop it. I'm with myself on this, Hajime. Stop it. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Oh, and you you know Stop what you're doing? This childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it Shit. possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? Uh, but they wouldn't be able to reach it still. I see. That might have happened. The question is whether Pecker's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. Knife. Facey timer. No visual embarrassment. Pecker's did you eat anything? I have weird? no idea how that stupid thing's gonna come into this. I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Yeah, but the same thing we all ate. Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? No, no we all ate the wrong. same stuff. Well, technically only two people ate the stuff, but. It's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. Yeah, considering how much of the stuff she ate. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Save this bickering. Let's just dismiss Pecco's stomach ache as a Yeah, it is a coincidence. And go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? What an odd insult. As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make it clear how the blackout occurred. They overloaded all the power. It's in this eye, I'm guessing in the eyes. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Okay, good for you. Did they throw a stone and hit it? No. Maybe they used a remote control? Oh, kind of, but no. They probably messed with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitter. Oh, really? No, not that? Oh, damn. Crap! Let's get breaker. back to that. If you can't answer that, did they throw us? Maybe they used a remote? Probably. It does not have to be. They may have tampered with... Or maybe they caused a power surge? Oh, that was it. Okay. I agree with that. Should just wait for the next bit. Consent! <laughs> Mayu said, the blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. The air Stupid fool! Nope. This'll be it'll be the air conditioning remotes. Hold on a second, let me speak too! Go ahead. What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! How dare you, irons have never done anything bad. Rebuttal. I already know it's gonna be the timer. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to this, and that means everyone who was when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. I can't back down. For swords. 
I yeah, I went to change my things just a moment to the iron next time. Storage will cause the blackout. And for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who is when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the blackout. Allow me to cut through those words. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked off. The air conditioners! A thing we barely have in this country. We're set to 11:30 p.m. Because nothing is built smart here. 11:30 p.m. Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time too. I see. Can we be respectful when to the, the dead? the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see. I understand. Indubitably. Indubitably? Indubitably. They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioners timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. You're picking up on words, now, are you? Miss Sonia, not you too. What's wrong with the word indubitably? Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun, dun, dun. Is she right? Such a hateful fear. You deserve to die a thousand deaths. Eighty thousand needle, needles if he lies. If I that many times, I might really stay dead, you know. He's only died once. Shut up! You guys, just stay quiet. Don't lose control. I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. Maybe Probably not, because again, you're too short. No, the breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Which seems like a safety hazard. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so oh, smart. Wow, is that something nice from Fuyuhio, whatever his name them. is? I'm so bad with these names still. It's all right. You don't have to worry, because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will I still just think be it's a him. stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage <laughs> room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying... After all this time, we still haven't made any progress! Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Technically you have, you've now got more of an idea of what, where it is. It's the how it happened. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because... There's no way any of us could be a killer. You, you're changing your story again? I s- it- I- anyway. it's him. I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get... He wants that because then he will others? live. Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> You guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. Yeah, there's I think no he's just trying to do this so that we all 
you know, if we don't do anything because he's the killer, he'll get away. Scott Stop free. this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. But I, I don't want to do this either. <laughs> me too. Please, take me home already. Ah, I want to go <laughs> home and eat candy. S Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I, I'm gonna. Everyone, calm down. Is everyone down. gonna cry? We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. Oh. I don't think. Did you say something? Uh, we've already found a clue that might point to the killer. Aha! Uh -huh. You know who the killer is? No, they have an idea, a possibility. I don't know, but we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. Then care to tell me, what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean it's also too that. big for them to have done it. It's only five millimeters in length. Before. She asked him how the kill got close to that table. Even if they had to obtain a knife by relying on the glow of the paint in order to do that, they needed to get close to that table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My news diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um here it is! Yes. And oh, look who's right next to it. Just a thought, this diagram is the clue. Who the killer is and how they were able to move to the table in the dark. That's clearly shown in this diagram. First we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to the table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Ah! Oh. Blam! desk lamp to move to that table in the car. The desk lamp? I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Not the lamp itself. Some of these desk lamps, like the killer actually used it, but the power cord. I can prove it with this. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Nugget. Who? The only person here who could have possibly done it. Select someone. the only one! Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? Me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence! No, they do say there's no such thing as coincidence in murder. Still, you in murder trials. Right? Murder cases. A chance to hide the knife under the table? Hey, you've been there all day. And your chance to hide the knife on the table was when he was cleaning. I see. Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's if you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning. You're the only one who could have done it. Seriously? That's all just a coincidence. And the way you're trying, and also it's just the way he's trying to get everyone just to give up and then all accept their death, which means if he would live if he's the killer. It'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder, is something like that even possible? Could it be? 
Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. That he did. I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. A bit of a trouble preparing this, just what did you think would happen? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? You rigged the drawing, didn't you? Could've. That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? <coughs> If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. Mm -hmm. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Yakuya. <laughs> Say something! Okay. <laughs> so we figured out, okay. Oh. Huh. <laughs> the ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death! Uh, how wonderful! How beautiful it is! Uh, huh? Those eyes. At that moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly, as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. As if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase! You're correct! It was my doing all along! Oh, that was easy. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. <sighs> and of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or... Does he seem a little nuts right now? I'm a little... But... I never expected Yaku to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And... Well, all saw how that played out. But with a twist ending like this... I think we can what all... What about the, uh, the blood... There's a few things that make sense. Namely that blood-stained, um... Tablecloth. Yakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could have lied to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that ultimately part of this. Good for you. Too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. How, will, how can you be too arrogant to have dreams? I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! <laughs> okay. He seems like the it's sort of jump. person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. What? That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. This, this guy, is he... Is he the real Nagito? Hey, Nagito! If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? To set up the situation where he'd be able to kill them? I think... somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at 
least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. Then how about that old looking building near the hotel? He did also choose the location. Oh, it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. And I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. She stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health, and if she went in there, she'd notice the irons. In that case, why don't you guard the case in the office? Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. What? Nagato's talent. It's, uh, yeah, the ultimate lucky student. I see! You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. Huh. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? Because, yeah, not all the evidence is end up, ends up getting used in these cases. We've had that before. It's so. not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Yeah, not that lucky. You've been caught. Huh? I'm left with the red mark? For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I wanted. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? Oh, the spirit breaks. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. So you want them to be... Like, hopeful or whatever. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this cycle. Yeah. Please! Monokuma! Please, wait! Oh? Huh? The fuck? Um, 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 Is it about the fact that the knife was too big? I, um, I have another because the, the possibility is still that um he was stabbed because the knife was too big. If he was face down, he could have been stabbed through the uh slats in the floor by a skewer. One of the skewers. I already know that, but uh, there's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. I need to be rude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? Well, at least someone's rational. We know who the killer is. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Okay. Lines of white noise. Ah, oh, yeah, I know about the white noise. Yep. Yep. Shoot down the white noise. Okay. <coughs> yeah, no, I remember how white noise works. Probably the autopsy report. I, I think it's strange that the killer 
is so obviously Nagito! Um... He has already confessed. Um, you know... That bastard Nagito is the one who did it! You know, for trying to let her talk, you're doing, a bad, you're doing a bad job. No, that's wrong! That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikon? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. Ah. Based on the entry wounds on Yaku's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife. Yes. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse! Good lord. Uh, not a whorehouse! Hey, why are you prepping her? Because he is does that. you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer! It has to be you! Hey, don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. People confess to crimes all the time if they didn't do it. If the evidence says otherwise, you should look into it. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe he caught him trying to use the, uh, better oh! for the knife. If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision! Don't get distracted! What? Our lives are at stake, you know? Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long wow. is it gonna take for you to understand the damn She is role? very dense. Nobody can see in the dark, no matter how hard you think about it. The truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, I don't think it was very clever. Oh, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? The truth is beyond our sight. No, that can't be it. There should be some way to find out what happened in the dark. Uh, Buku's account. I can prove it with this. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard. It. Isn't that right, Buku? Oh, real? Don't act so surprised. You were the one who told me. Remember how everyone was shouting during the blackout? We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This... this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights it's on! Just an owl. can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. Yeah, I don't think, uh, However, I don't think she cares. <laughs> after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark, what the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Huh. It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. Huh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. 
I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. So Bianchi has stopped him when he was trying to get the knife. And he got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it. Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the time. What the hell? Ow. We've heard this thrice now. I could interpret it like that. No, actually. Now that I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. And I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Miyako's body was lying under the table. H hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? Hmm. From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout. He he, he attempted it, but then his plan. plan fell apart. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. You failed? The then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! Welcome to trials! To be fair, most trials in this case usually already have a suspect. But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Is Nagato really not the killer? <clears throat> is this guy really the Nagato I knew before? No, there's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him, but this whole time I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. But now's not the time for me to dwell on that. I need to find Bianchi as a killer by any means necessary. Well, possible. Necessary, possible, same thing. Because if we don't, we... die here. Now, if he was stabbed through the slats in the floorboards, there was clearly someone who found a way to get under there. Suspended! This is new. Now then, the class trial has reached its climax, but... Okay, here's a question for you. What's this? For those of you who figured out who it is, how about you try out the Guess the Killer challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their save data melt away like butter. But if you guess right, I'll award you with 10 billion dollars. It's 10 billion? Of course, for those of you who don't know who the killer is, you can just continue. Well then, what are you doing? I'm gonna have to try it out. Oh, just kidding, you can't make a choice. There's no way you'd be able to guess who the killer is. <laughs> and of course, there's no ten billion dollars either! I knew that. You're so evil! Villain, you truly are a villain. Yes. That was almost longer. Hi, Mona Me! Am I hard? Let me just quick move it. Something I have to do normally around this time.
Sorry, most days I'm normally finished before now, so I uh, don't have to. So I normally uh, check that beforehand. But not today. among this group of students? No? I'm not gonna believe it! I'll never believe it! Cause I believe in everyone! So do your best! And don't forget to save regularly! I do that already. Well, just what now? Just to send to DJ cause he's a Code Geass fan. If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. No. Shut up! We'll be the judge of that! You, you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion! But, but there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. Hmm. Yep. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Oh, there is running low. Makes sense. Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel lucky to. Yes, if he stabbed a guy, he would have had blood on him. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. Wow. I'm not talking about your words. Why does Mikan think Nagito looks clean? Because he doesn't have any blood! I see! So yeah, if you stabbed someone under the table Are like that, he would have been up close. Like blood would have and ten Nagito times blood would have spurted out on him. him. Yes! Th that's it! Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. He stabbed Byakuya to death. It's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> yes, no matter you how lucky you are. You just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? Hmm. I guess we. Yeah, they are the tablecloth, but used. that also wouldn't make sense because you didn't Isn't have a chance to go right, there. Ajime? Yes, I think we're going to use both the blood splatter. This one. I can prove it with this. You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? If there are bloodstains, yeah, we'll that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But how? My cat's hopefully going to want me to feed him. Let him out soon. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? Hmm. That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you, wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, hitting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing. I don't know why I just imagine him wearing the tablecloth like a clan out. <laughs> like, it's not just ropes. impossible for someone like <laughs> He's me. just dressed as one of the clan. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you <laughs> guys come too? on, he's just dressed like. He's like, no, 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 wait! <laughs> then, what does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Nah. Huh? No. There's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Yes, but under, under the table. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody, so there's no denying Yakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Yakuya got stabbed and where the killers of the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! I do. The place where Yakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different. Uh -huh. 
look like you're on to something. That's why I think it's, uh, might be gum. It sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm on to something, but it's still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. And the only reason I think it's him is because he was able to get his earring back. Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. See, it's where you have to figure out important words. Ah, the improved Hangman's Gambit will improve. improved? How's it improved? It's like a little puzzle game. Various others will be found on the screen. No questions or traditions are available. If you find guns clash, you'll take damage. Two of the same letters clash, they will fuse. Must make two of the same letters clash while you try not to have two different letters clash. What is that you've been given the technique to catch and release? We try to call the left statement because he has one more to do. It seems to let it like a vacuum. You can only catch one letter at a time. If it's gamma, you have a letter called it. Shoot away your first with anyway. Ah! Catch and release, you can change position of letters and letters of each other. Make sure you have the same letters so you can freeze them. So you can freeze them. You can throw it up and erase it. It's called firing the letters. Catch and release with the X button, and after you fuse the fire with the X button, there's a whole lot of X buttons. But if you just erase the letters, you won't be able to clear the game. Ultimately, the main goal of improving Hangman's game is completing the keyword. Make the question with a square, and figure out what the keyword will answer that question. The keyword, instead of pressing the X button, fire the letter, and freeze the pressure triangle button. At the same time, the letter blows up. Okay, so we'll still damage you, so please be careful. So don't explain it, but do you understand? Yeah, okay, I get it. It seems a bit overcomplicated, but I get it. Using those words as clues, I should put some exceptions and try to think about it. Something, something is coming to me. Just a little bit more. I have a feeling I can see something. <laughs> Holy dive, that's a lot of words. Under the, um... Under the floor, yep. Nope. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that one. Oops. Oh, I can speed up time, I was going to say. Is there a way to do that? Because otherwise... Those hit each other, they should just do that, yeah. from under the floorboards. Under the floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Yakia to death. Yep. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. Where? How? I don't know that yet, but... I have a feeling 
There's someone here who does know. That's right, if I remember correctly, one person you should know how to get onto the floorboards. Yep. Oh, Gundam. You're the only one! Hey, Gundam. You dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Referring to the Hellhound earring. Yeah, I'm not gonna call it by its stupid little name. About that earring. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboard, right? <gasps> oh, there it is. I have found it. Truly, that is the hellhound earring. <laughs> it seems that God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Or I should use a tool that would probably not reach either. <laughs> Just a bit longer, and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Just tell us how you feel. Is it look. safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began, then that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. Just tell us how. But I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it did is you a have no one of the, concern. Did you have one of the hamsters go in and grab it? True. This is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. Someone hit him if he doesn't start speaking. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. Oh! Man up and speak more clearly! Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. Thank you. <gasps> Trapdoor! One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know. Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Yes. And that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, Terry, Terry walks out, goes into the storage room, goes the under. He has one of the uh, skewers. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Hmm. Are you sure? You don't like Stab! Stab! Stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... <laughs> I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? So... Was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Mm -hmm. Monomi over there can be my witness, right? Yes, this Monomi over here is your witness. You can trust Monomi. I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but... I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Doesn't mean you couldn't have done it. You couldn't have taken advantage of it. The only person who wasn't at the party... 
Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... It obviously has to be him! Yay! It's decided! What? what the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? <laughs> Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting! Good news, I'm now allowed to use the soft side. Okay, well, now it works. Yep. Shoot down white noise. I get time! Like two seconds, I think. Yep. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. I like that. On gentle, you don't have to deal with it, but hey, you can still just go pew pew. Alright, we got a bunch of people's accounts. Now, Shidanki made a point that he During was a party, around the at that point. Was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And we could have stared at panties all day. No. Without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started... Nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi! Uh, I think that's what I need to shoot. The culprit is self-evident. The only person who doesn't know by during the party is Fuyuhiko, but is he really the killer? During the party, it was lurking under the... And you could have stared without going to the store. Is that true? Don't act like I'm the... But when the party... St Nobody saw you. That means you have no alibi. No, he does. No, that's wrong. He came by because he wanted to join in with everyone. Cause he's no, lonely. for you, Hiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um... Oh, you're right. Huh? What happened for you, Hiko? Oh, hey, what are you doing here, all alone at a place like this? I'm standing guard, so Mona, Koopa, so Mona Kuma doesn't come inside. Heh, <laughs> how diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Sh shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he came to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Which is odd. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. Probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're uh, right. I couldn't even see the office in the darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? No. It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. What if you didn't have far to go? I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked. For clarity's sake, once again. It appears we're getting close to the final stage. The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. You make your argument. I think it's the equipment list. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. Or maybe the fire. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? What if they use the string like the cord? Maybe we'll have another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? Damn it, that hit something. Nope. 
Oh, no, wait. Oh, no. Okay. Nope, never mind. Well, then, might have had some of the The holder was really dark. Moving to the storage room. It's like making a seafood. Is it really not? What if they used a strip? Maybe there was another pair of the pain. I'm gonna. What if they used a light? It definitely sounds impossible. Who's with the moving the dark? Might be what one of those just suggested. So I might be able to prove it. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood book. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the core? No, not the string, that. That should be the dark storage room. So it's either a light. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making. Hmm. Aha! A seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? What if they used a strip? Maybe there was another pair for the pain. I'm gonna what if they used a light? There we go. I agree with that. One cent. Which I think I, I, I don't I, I think this. I know. I don't think it's quite the right term for that. Oh, I was right. Yes, you technically were. But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There's also, there are also iron plates and barbecue and even a portable stove and hot pots. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problem using it. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. Yep. I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. Oh yeah? What is it? Ha? Oh. A hole. What kind no, of No, 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 no. It would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. Up, oh, back in the cage. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. I'm sure Repeating you Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime, will you battle against me? No, that's wrong. Okay. No fight. Will you be able to break through my argument? What does he mean, battle? It's as if he's enjoying a game or something. Damn it, no way I'm gonna lose against someone like him! Rebuttal. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? So the problem stove was just a light source, contrary to Kazuichi's testimony. I don't think what Kazuichi said is wrong. I guess for now I should not for a bottle. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? No. I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? If the fire door closed, you wouldn't see the light. The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark. Right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, bollocks. Crap. The reason Kazuichi couldn't see it was because the hallway. Was so if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? No. Allow me to cut through those words. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm fire talking door. about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. 
actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate. Yeah, I don't know what I am. You still don't remember I'm, your town. I imagine maybe you? like Kyoko or Detective, but that seems a bit that weird. Right now. What are you plotting? Like if they reuse that he's not plot the point, it'd be a bit weird. You are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey! It's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Yeah, I gotta finish up. We've been on for ages. It's been one it. lengthy old stream. You're telling me to pass to so the long torch, today. right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? No. If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. No matter what it is. So you're telling me to call it the real killer? No, I really don't want to condemn that person, but it's no other way, right? Alright, I'll do it. Person use the hallway fire door as cover and use the portable stove to move in the dark. It's stuck under the floorboards to start the Alkia to death using the glowing paint as a mark. So the only killer I can think of is. You, and only you. I was actually wrong then. You're when the I was originally one. thinking I knew who it was. Terror Terror. Could it be you? What? what? What are you talking about? Terror Terror is the killer? Is that true? He's short enough. What are you talking about? He'd probably no be able to way. walk on the floorboards without much trouble. Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please be free. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Evidence points towards you. Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? You're cruel. Cruel. Too cruel. Ah, uh, oh, Terry. That attitude is so not like you. Or the ultimate cook to be so upset. Call me Chef. No. If you fall to a spur like this, it. who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You're right. Yeah. That's totally right. So, what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Very dumb. Did you know asbestos is yummy too? <laughs> you should try some later. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards, too. So how would they be able to stab Bianca? You're not gonna say they shined the light on Bianca, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. True. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. A bleep of blood. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? Could have been the paint that dripped. And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. The victim was targeted by a mark. What was the mark? I think it might have been the paint. Uh. What was the paint? Hmm. 
Oh, was I mentioning the paint? Lions take off his count, locusts fight all. Maybe it's not there anymore. I can prove it with this. It's just the knife I have to choose because that had the paint the on it. The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Okay, I was looking for the duct tape that mentioned it, or if it added a new piece By of evidence. By using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So. Killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! Seriously, I don't know anything. He could have just been going under really? there for the aforementioned reason of trying to spy all. up uh, ghoul skirts. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! I'm with my hero, he's really pissing me off. Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. Yes. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Ah! The devil may be! What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Where, that doesn't mean he was the in the room. Just in the he kitchen? could have been under the floorboards when he said that. She heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? That's right! That's exactly it! But when the lights came back on, but he Taro wasn't. Taro was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen. So I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too. But somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. Kazuichi himself met him, met him, said he couldn't. Kazuichi? Oh, I'm so bad with these names. You can tell when a person is lying by making this sweat. Well, if you want, you should try and look in me. No way! You look greasy! <laughs> but I heard Tara Tara's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right! Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Again, under the floorboard, you idiots. No, that's not it. Wh why? Why do you have to keep falsely accusing me? I don't want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing... God, he's really food. pissing me off. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? My argument. Okay. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. Yeah. It's handsome, unlike his face. Is it? Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. I'll shoot through that contradiction. Yeah. It's it. It's, it was under the floors. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? W why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 
Why is it they needed me to figure that out? So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining room. Is he looks true, awfully Tyler? flustered. Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Cherry Cherry? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. So, we're having once again my favourite thing when it comes to any time they try to jump th dub things in uh, Japanese things into English, where they can't do a very good job of dubbing someone being from the country, which is because he always tries to claim he was from, you know, the city, I guess, to be more refined. Uh, people's accents in Japanese, they don't really, they're hard to try and translate. So we just give someone a southern accent because everyone can immediately be like, oh yeah, that means he's from the boonies. Where are you from again? Hey, you guys! This guy's a major liar! If Terry Terra was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Terry Terra actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Something like the this accent. should be decided by gut instinct. <coughs> People's lives are at stake. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! Yes. However, I am not yeah, The fact sure. that he is shows how possible. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. Oh, is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? Yes. His memories. If there's one thing he definitely remember. Gosh, yeah, don't be saying things like that. Don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the dining hall? Okay. I don't even know what he's saying there. Um, he, he would definitely <coughs> acknowledge what happened to Makino. Probably can. Oh, you again! Oh, for sure, I just need to throw that question at him. Oh. Yep. I'm assuming it's this. I can prove it with yeah. this. Because he he would have he would definitely respond. It had a pad of response to that. You should know how Mikan was positioned at the time. Right. What? No! <laughs> 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 uh sorry, so Mikan. I call him a carny. Mikan. I'm so oh. Hopefully by next time I'm better with the names. No, this is a very important question. Well, Terry Terry, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? Um... Stop. It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. This is gonna be a recurring thing with her character. It's not like the end of of, uh, um, the f of the first game where it showed us that one bit with um oh god uh what's her name from the very start over and over again. Yes, of course, from the massive pervert that you are. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so, Nagito, say something. Why you think he's on your side? I guess you might have to give up now. Give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold on a sec, don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. What is his accent? Huh? But it's already decided, right? Is it Creole? No, 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 no,
A murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. Thank you, Nautilus. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Come on, Monomi. <laughs> Enough with the whimpering and translate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. Um, he said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? Weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? No, it's a skewer. Judging from Ducky's wounds, it was a thin edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stab from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough Yeah, I know. Can you talk faster? Because mm, I've got to get through this. I just, just know it's time. About what, the weapon I was. what I was using to look at the time is an hour behind. What are doing? What are doing? What? Um... He said, try to do it. <laughs> what a confusing accent. Anyway, we need to focus on thinking about this. Thin edge tool with a diameter of about 50 millimeters and at least 50 centimeters in length. So his garments might have been used at the crime scene. Oh, what's that? Is a hangman's gambit? Ah! Last bits. Uh, I'm guessing it's food skewer. It's not going to be. Uh, you know, can't be messed with. I'm only assuming, like, uh, that food makes sense for that first part. I mean, I can always just do it this way. No. No. Oh, it is I. Iron! Okay, right. Be the iron skewer, huh? The iron skewer before the party, as Biagio was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terra Terra. I tried to put the I'm going to skip for this because we already know what he said there. So, that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Terra Terra, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, uh, oh, oh. Hmm. Apple Levine! Apple Levine? Apple Levine? Apple Levine? Huh? Did he really just say that? Apparently so. He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? 
Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Which means, we obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Hmm. Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh! 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 He's turning into a monkey. Finally, we are nearing the end. Corner front, yep. Soul shields and someone all this and what you have to say. Why are we paying you in the paying you to condemn your classmate, but this is class trial after all. We must uh, uh. Sorry. The panic talk action. Okay, so it's changed the name. PTA Parent Teacher Association. PTA must Okay, so it's exactly the same, looks like. Okay, it's a bit different, actually. Screw us away from them, hiding in the kitchen would be the easiest way to scoop them fine. We are going to check the kitchen pretty thoroughly, but I decided which means was the weapon. Which means was the weapon was already hidden. Which means was the weapon was already hidden somewhere we couldn't find it. But now you're starting to talk like him. Could it have been in an unexpected place? What would that be? Where did he hide a long weapon? Can I obscure? I'm not. 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 I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Very skilled! Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! You're not just pressing this entire time, isn't it? Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Very skilled! You say Paris Hilton? Where would the weapon be? The meat bar. Is that wrong? What I do? What I hit wrong there? I must have wrong buttons. What I wrong? Where would the weapon On be? The meat bar. Meat That's on the impossible. bar, doing. Ah! Nice now. Shut up! That's impossible. Right. Where would the Meat be? on the bar. This is the end. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything. In a place like that? <laughs> that's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Bianca and I thought. That's why we opened How would it be impossible? It's a gigantic piece of meat. Seems there are no dangerous items like that skewer in the Churascal Churascal Weaver. It's Churascal. It's like that foul 
appears to be the case. Phew, I wouldn't know what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. We are not in America. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty looking oh, piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye. All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. <laughs> Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing. Wait, now, hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. Oh? Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here. Not easy, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Already eating it. Ow. Uh, a bear that eats meat. That's old bears. Uh, wait. Now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, what is this? So yummy. Damn it! That's my meat. I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life. The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. This is bad! Seriously, this is really bad! The fact that you're upset my, that it is... My, There's something inside the meat! Look what came out! Isn't that... Is that... an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Oh! The sword of destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe <laughs> unto Byakuya. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you can blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagato, I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? <laughs> he said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth, fast food eating pets. Sounds like you're talking about where you're from. You don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can. Oh, what he's trying to say. Let's just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we should first. We need to settle this. Once and for all. Is he gonna be cooked in an oven? To do that, we need to go over the entire incident oh, and the to the end and make everything clear. Go over the entire incident, and then I can prove territory's crime. That's right, if we don't do that, we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So, we need to do it. Hopefully it won't take long. Uh, I already know how to do it. I thought I was suggesting. Yeah, I, I know what to do. I've done this before. I don't think it's any different. Alright. So. Oh, it tells you what exactly it is over when hovering over it. That's nice. Oh, wow, I don't get actually. Wow, we have even less options. Containing potential weapons, no. Oh, wow, okay, wow, they made it a bit easier. Whatever there is the air conditioner turned on. Could be the case. No. Is meant to go in there. Actually, there's not enough for every thing. Unless it gives me more. Maybe I should pay attention to that. Okay. Switched on. 
kind of gets injured a lot about being in a bag as a tail attention problems. <laughs> the storage room before the blackout. Oh, okay, same scene as the office room and dining room. It got dark, Miyaki on. And that's why Miyaki see the cure obtained on light. There, that's that. The weapon hidden in. Ah, okay, so that's what happens. Okay, so it is, yeah, different stuff. Interesting, it is different. We should pay attention. Everyone at the party is. I don't know why that needs to be there, because it's the same as there. Same scene as office and dining hall. That's a different way, I like that. That's actually a little easier. Let's try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. <laughs> Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled I was at laughing at, um, and the party was to get to the door. <laughs> but at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly kept the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for them. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggles. Yakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Yakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right, everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder See, it's just, not, just it's the taking a long time to basically recap what we already Nagito. figured out. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, 
began making the killer probably already knew about Nakata's plan. That's why the killer prepared all the items. They needed a light source. Which we've already figured it out anyway. It's a bit annoying because it is just okay. This had also been hidden in the kitchen. Recapping everything. But at this point, yeah. It's too late, I'm gonna finish up. In the churrasco dish. With the it's weapon churrasco. and portable stove churrasco. in the hand, the kill first. They close the fire door. Then, guided by the light. That's right. Uh, a tip. Looking like Moon Knight. With this, the killer. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted. Under the table, Byakia found the. If only he had retreated, he, he had to retrieve that. Stab, stab, stab. Ten times. The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabs straight up. They would have. They had to stab like in and out ten times, going all along the uh, the, the line had of the board. Been waiting in the dark for the moment <clears throat> when the glowing paint began to move. They made after a they murdered Byaki, purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to afterward. They came out from underneath the floor. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they to rejoined the group as if nothing. There's only one person who would have been able, especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? What happened? How about it? Did I get anything wrong? This is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. It's weird with that and then his other picture next to it. They're very different. <laughs> it seems. This is the end. Case closed. Boy, that was a long old one. B. Money. It looks like your argument has come to a close. Whoops! I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier! Well. <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! Who is found guilty? Try. End. All rise. Uh, I guess you can say all rise for the end of the trial, but. Correct. That's right. This time, the blackened responsible for killing Bianchi Togami is Teru Teru Hanamura. No, 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 no. You. Are, are you serious? Out of all these people, are you saying a ponce like him is the one who killed Byakuya? Yeah. But... Why? Why did you kill him? You, you've got it wrong. It was a mistake. I'm, I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. Hey! I was only trying to stop Naruto from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop? What do you mean? I... I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party, and then I heard a weird laughter in the dining hall, and when I peeked over there, 
I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of cleaning duty, putting the knife under the table. I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing. And I saw him place the irons he brought in the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. Plus he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. He didn't think to maybe turn off the, the, the irons or the air conditioner so he couldn't do it. And then you also covered up your crime. So I questioned him. When, when that, that happened, happened, he... You caught me? Oh, I've been caught. What? But being caught? Hey. What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Uh huh. <laughs> Teru Teru, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the days beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. Impossible! But what? No matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... I see, so that's what you think. Well... No, that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of good use to them. I love all the Ultimates, and I admire them for being symbols of hope. Amazing! That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. That's why. <laughs> I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they face they may seem. <laughs> I want to, everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 no. What are you saying? I don't understand at all. See? See, isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you will become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I... I want to see that brightness, and in order to see it, I'm going to become everybody's stepping stone. I want to make your hopes shine. It's as simple as that. <laughs> That's right. I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. You're kidding, right? Are you kidding? Don't tell me. You're actually serious. Man. So you don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. <laughs> I'm just an obsessed fanboy, so it's alright that this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. Wait, no way, no way! There's something wrong with you. <laughs> really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? But isn't that what love is? Nagato, what is the meaning of this? Explain it to me. I don't understand anything at all about anything about this story at all. See? You see, if you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? Don't fuck with me! You better not compare us to that. What? Huh? Am I wrong? It's a given that trials are necessary to become strong. And the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> for mere humans, killing is simply a tragedy. But for worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. Amazing! It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant to me to die as everyone's trial. Great! There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it. You're seriously starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically wanted to commit murder for fun? <laughs> it's not the same as someone killing for fun, but I guess it'd look the same in your eyes. I... I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Teru Teru discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too. Huh. Um. Nagito wanted to involve us in the kill. Plus it'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. <clears throat> Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Teru Teru? You expected to pique Teru Teru's curiosity, and you look forward to the mystery becoming more complex. Well, well you're basically right. It's true I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That was your doing as well? You're right. I just casually mentioned it. No, oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get too close to it. <laughs> this dude. He's seriously batshit crazy. He's insane. That's right. That's why I tried to stop him, you know? However... But why? Why did you kill Byakuya instead? I don't know! Because Nagato was the one who was supposed to take that knife. That's why I aimed and thrusted the iron skewer there. But why is Byakuya the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagito, not him. Byakuya probably tried to stop Nagato from grabbing the knife. We've established this. 
And in place of Nagito? Nope. No, I don't think that's it. Oh. Perhaps. Bianchi was probably trying to protect Nagito. What? What did you say? See? Because Bianchi has said so, didn't he? Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much I promise. <laughs> could it be? In order to keep that promise? Hmm. As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagito. Why? So, so Bakuya, Bakuya, Byakuya gave his life to protect Nagito? Even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see. Byakuya is amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yet... Such despair! I never expected an ending like this. Such despair. What? <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. No Could it be? You knew Byakuya would protect you, so you set him up to fail? Someone like me? Of course not. I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results of that were going to be my fun for later. The results of that were going to be my fun for later. Just kidding. How unexpected. But I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. Oh, let's get that. Hang on. Uh, so that's why I decided to help Terry Terry. Why? Why? <laughs> well, because Teru Teru decided to commit his crime because he also had strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that couldn't defeat that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Teru Teru. What do you mean confirm? Just stop it already. Well. Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also empathised with Teru Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing Bianchi instead, you know. If I had left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him, I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. Right? Those were my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Teru Teru? In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Teru Teru. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourself. You will not die in vain. Great! You will overcome a splendid sacrifice for everyone else, so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible! It's a sacrifice? Shut up! Seriously, Shut up! stop it already. I'm gonna go crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey! Hey, is it really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Isn't it better if we just fucking kill him off? Yeah, kill, he said. High school students are so violent these days. But the person who's going to get killed now isn't Nagito. It's Teru Teru! Eek. What's the, the cat? Poo -hoo -hoo -hoo. You didn't forget, right? Because I told you already at the beginning, right? If the blackened killer loses, a fun punishment awaits them. Wait! Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. That no, was no. how... That was... How should I put it? I, an accident. Um, an act of self-defense. Not intentional. Anyway, I feel it's possible it's not my fault. Hey! It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. Hey! But isn't there anything like sympathy judgments? Extenuating circumstances, or maybe even probation? Impossible! I don't accept any of those claims. That's... That's not... Hey! hey save me, you guys. I was only trying to stop Nagito, so... Why you? Be honest, after learning about Nagito's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? Wrong. You're, you're wrong. I... Hmm. There's no way a person with no malice would kill someone like that. Uh. Hmm. In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagito and willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already. At least, in the end. <laughs> wow. No, 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 no. That is... Teru Teru. If only you didn't try to kill Nagito, Byakuya would still be alive. Answer me. Why did you try to commit murder? Answer me, Teru Teru. <laughs> I just wanted to go home. I needed to go back home no matter what! Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. 
She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate Hope's Peak Academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I know that already. I know that already. I promised. I promised her I'd become a full-fledged cook and save the Hanamura Dino. Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! <laughs> teru Teru. <laughs> but if we were told our memories were stolen and that several years have passed since our first day, hey. then what happened to the Hanamura Dino? What happened to my mom who's still waiting for me? So you did believe what Monokuma said. Damn it! You were saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So why? Wrong. I still don't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. It has to be a lie. That's why I wanted to go home! I wanted to go home and confirm it. I wanted to make sure it was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I still have a place to call home. Teru Teru, you... I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not that Teru Teru didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it, because he believed it. He needed to deny it. You need it 10 minutes, and if this is still going, I might just have to end their comeback. Damn it. If I only knew how he felt, something like this never would have happened. I wanted to confirm by any means necessary. I had to do something. That's when I heard Nagato's plans. I found out he was going to kill someone. If I left him alone, <laughs> that's why. That's why. Fine, fine. So, you wanted the first kill. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. It doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you, but it was the only thing I could do. And I ended up killing Bianchia instead of Nagito. Ah, I see. I think I'm the one who went crazy. T teru Teru. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting. But... As far as motives to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mum is so boring. What? So, it seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't. No, you can't. Jeez, get out of my way! Well now. There, now that the annoying little sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Wait. Hold on a sec. I'm not asking for forgiveness or anything anymore, but at least now then, I prepared, prepared a, a very special, special punishment, punishment, punishment for Teru Teru and Hanamura, the ultimate cook. Hey. Call me chef. No, wait, that's not what I... Please. please. Please tell me at least what happened to the Hanamura diner. To Mama. Let's give it everything we've got. It... It's lies. lies. I won't I believe this. I won't believe it. Button. <coughs> Teru Teru has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. I guess he's gonna be cooked.
Ah! Is he going to be fried? It looked like he'd been breaded now. <laughs> okay! So he's being deep fried. Yahoo! Extreme! Yeah. Whew. Whew, the adrenaline is rushing through me. Yeah. Teru Teru! Damn it! Are you fucking serious? How cruel! Why? Why did you do something so cruel? Wah -wah. Huh? Didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes in a note and makes whoever you badmouth read it to you in front of the class. No. When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be badmouthed. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? You're the one who drove him to do it. <laughs> oh, so cruel. This is just too cruel. Nice! Well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule, after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is... <laughs> Figured it out yet? That's right, you guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? And you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. Why? Why didn't you tell Teru Teru about his mum or his dying? He had a right to know. Yeah, us too. We all have a right to know. Hey, hurry up and tell us. What did you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? Oh yeah, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. Huh? You're gonna do it? Telling them is kind of... I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away. What? Not fair. It's not fair. Of course, I'll keep my promise to return your memories someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. Um, I must excuse myself as well. There's something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? That's not fair. They both ran away. Then... Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid! Teru Teru, you stupid. Such despair. An ending like this is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this, <laughs> as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You. You. Why are you smiling? Crap! How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on. I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? In the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. Your ultimates will inspire hope and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when you've, we've lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck with me! Don't go saying creepy shit, and I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Please, kill me any time. What? Huh? <laughs> if you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. Something. If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. How messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're going to kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. If you're students of Hope Speak Academy, if you're the symbols of Hope who possess the chosen talents, Great. then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? Hmm, declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey. Maybe this was his plan all along. If he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Whoa. Well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Bianchi, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. This is exciting. Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> just kidding. Me hey, off. can I punch you? I just won't be satisfied till I punch you. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's going to be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. What? Huh? Even Hajime hates me now? How unfortunate. That stings. I felt you and I were quite similar. What's that? Isn't that right? You hold a special feeling towards Hope's Peak Academy, just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Hey. But how can you say you're not? Monokuma said to himself, we don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> no, if it's true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. Akane, please feel, please feel free to punch him. <laughs> Will do! Wait. Uh, hold on. Please, please stop. stop this at once. Nothing will come from fighting like this. Th there is something else that we must do. Huh? Something else? 
Please, listen! We mustn't argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Let me ask. Which is... Do our best. You f well? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall work together and do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe we must do right now. I am sorry! I am sorry if only I was a better motivational speaker. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, it's never going to pay off, right? Yes. Yes, that is right. Like... But what do we have to do to work on <laughs> it? I do not know, but we must do our best. Jeez. Jeez, I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? Well... It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that, that you have to do your best. Right. So let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. But... It's scary, but doing our best is our only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagito said. I'm gonna do it! Alright, I don't know what you're all talking about, but let's do our best for now on. Fine. Very well, even if we are not able to change the future, I guess I should at least be able to change tomorrow. <laughs> Damn fiend, I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. <laughs> my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. To our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again. Even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we continue to say it over and over again without stopping. Think we're at the end. Thus the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Byaku and Teruturu were sacrificed. Hey, Nugget. Afterwards we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Javawak Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. Oh my god, we're still going. It's been so like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. I dully looked up at the sky. I have to end now. And just like before, it was the night sky being the stars, so I thought they were about to fall into my hands like falling from snow, and so it was such a beautiful night sky. I didn't go anywhere, that thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life, that's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going to go home. Hmm. That's when it happened. I set up the night sky for a strange convergence of sensation. And then while I continued to scare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? Okay, it's... 19 days left. Oh my god, we're done. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm not going to have any sort of like ending thing here. I'm just going to save and end the stream as soon as it lets me save. But yeah, and I will be back probably Thursday. Because wow, that took way longer than I expected, that first chapter. Holy diver, that was a long time. Uh, I got a present. Three star badge. Nice. And uh, a wooden stick. Cool. Yes. Wow, that for was long. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna have to end there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time.